YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Layers of Fear. They have done such an incredible job with this remaster. It's been a lot of fun to play. Uh, they've not just upgraded it visually, they've made it like absolutely gorgeous, but they've also added additional gameplay elements. Uh, everything is voice acted now, which is really cool, makes the story much more approachable, and it's just overall been a pleasure to experience. Now, so far, we have played uh, Layers of Fear 1. So if you are unfamiliar with what the Layers of Fear remaster even is, it contains everything Layers of Fear related. It contains Layers of Fear 1, all the DLC, new content, as well as Layers of Fear 2. And it's all packaged this into this brand new story that's like going through the whole series. So, uh, so far we have done Layers of Fear 1, and now we are hopping into Layers of Fear 2, which is, uh, I've actually never played Layers of Fear 2, so I'm super excited to see what they've done with it. And I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game let's go all righty here we go so this is the actor story uh if you want to watch the first episode by the way i'll link it over in the top right i've never played this are we on a ship right now what the hell are we on the titanic uh that's a lot of water oh no it's sinking it's just a, that doesn't seem like the type of drawing you'd see on a ship dude what an intro we're just we're just straight into here no hoopla, no nothing. I I can't get over how pretty this game is. Oh, barrels. Got me acting up like PewDiePie from 2012. Uh, yes, I know how to open a door. We've we've played this game a lot. Uh, we played like I think it was four. Oh god, four hours to finish Layers of Fear one inside the remaster. Um. Hi, demon. We almost had it. <laughs> what the fuck did the kid do? <laughs> did you pull off the kid's head? Actor's story, chapter one. Uh, okay. Play your part. You will stay awake. All right. Is a poor excuse. So the. But to give you a little context, if you... All right, let, let's listen to this first. Your little toys wing you upstairs. Dude, this place is beautiful. No one. Build the character. Do not waste Prepare for the big role. Act. <laughs> Wait, the perfect time. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar, I'm unfamiliar with what we're going to be playing right here. But basically, uh, there's been... There's like a story that ties all of the games together now, and that story is a lady in the lighthouse, which is like the character we're actually playing as, is writing all these stories. Now, this lady has her own demons, which I think that demon we saw in that cutscene right at the beginning, that is the demon that's haunting the lady. So we might see some like secrets slipping through the cracks uh, that'll like... So it's basically two stories happening at once. It's a little bit confusing, but we're going to explore it and it'll be become clear as we go. Hope you're hope you settled in all right. Remember what we talked about. Focus on what you do best. Go to that special place of yours. Find your motivation. Build the character. Trust me, it'll all be worth it. I'll try to keep in touch. Travel safe. Your friend and agent. Also, the uh, the text is on the different side of the screen in this one. In the first one, it was on the on the left. So I'll move you guys over to the right. Or to the left, I should say. What is this? We gotta... Oh, wait. What? I only have one picture of a burned ship. There's another picture in there. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna go upstairs. Dude, that is the steepest stairs I've ever seen. Wait, can I climb? I can climb. Alright, open the door. This is, a, this is a fancy place, huh? We got a lot of pictures. Can I see these pictures? All the clothes. Uh, put in the tape. Yes, please. Um, I was trying to. There. Oh. We diving in. Why are we here? They asked. Although they already knew. To build the character. To act. That was what they did for all of their lives. They did it for love. Did it because of a burning passion, a flame within them that wanted to be set free. And above all, they did it to run, to forget, 
to be anyone else, everyone else, to keep the one story that mattered, the one that really happened, unused and intact, secret. They couldn't even recall it now. They would though, walking the corridors of this strange ship and the ship from their past, remembering their first characters and why they played them, remembering the borrowed bravery of the pirate crew, finding out who they were before they learned to put on all the masks. In their time, they played the parts of many men, oh, observed and. others, and were observed, wore the characters as if they were second skins, layers upon layers of people who wore their face. Layers of fear. Now, it was time to shed these skins, to meet themselves again, to remember. Very artsy. I love it. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't really compare. Oh, here we go. Check to actor story chapter one. I don't really know. Uh, like, I can't properly compare this one to what the original Layers of Fear 2 was like because I've never played it. So that's going to be up to you guys uh, to let me know. Build the character preparation. Explore who I, who am I? Where am I? Okay. Who am I? Oh, this is not the place I entered. Uh, esteemed traveler, as per the director's request, this section of the ship has been closed off to all passengers and crew. We wish you a pleasant and fulfilling day. Icarus Transatlantic. Also, in the first game or the first remasters, all these notes were narrated. I don't know if that's going to not be the case here. It doesn't really matter to me. I can read them out just fine, but uh, it's already a difference between the two. Oh, my God, dude. Look at this shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Are we on a ship? Transatlantic sounds like a ship. I think we are on a ship. I can hear the water. Yep, we're definitely on a ship. You see this? I don't know if you can see it move. I think it's just my character moving. I swear that if this damn movie star, star spends another night tossing and turning and screaming, I'm jumping overboard. If you're afraid of the sea, don't get on a goddamn ship for Christ's sake. Dummy. Dude, this is even more beautiful than Players of Fear 1 was. Good God, man. I need to pay even closer attention because the story is going to be completely new. I love cruise ships, dude. I love ships. That's crazy. Uh, are we on the Titanic? Are we gonna die? Uh-oh. Can't open that door. A little... Listen, uh, excuse me? <laughs> once you get there, just do what you have to do. Get what to the pose. set and build this character for him. That's all that matters. Okay, dude. Nothing else. I'm just gonna leave the radio on. It's not my not my place. Got a spotlight mission. What what's that for? To find people that are falling overboard. How many people die yearly? Like on a, I know like Disney does cruises. Do people just die on Disney cruises? I guess there's bound to be people that perish on cruises just because of the nature of humanity. Like, if you send a bunch of people on a cruise, there's bound to be one person having a heart attack. I wonder if they release stats about that. Like, yeah, on this cruise, like, 15 people die. <laughs> I'm assuming that that's not yeah, too much. Yeah, I know you've told me a million times how much you hate the sea. And I'm telling you, this gig is just too good to pass up. They have a morgue? Is that kind of crazy? Disney cruise with a morgue? <laughs> I mean, it's totally normal, but... Damn. That's not the that's not the child friendly dream you think of when you think of Disney movies. Not that Disney is child friendly in any way. Adventures in cruise ships have insurance for death. They plan on five deaths per week. Are you kidding me? Oh god. Um I hate it here. You have a freaking bench and an elevator? I've never seen this in my entire life. What? Why is that not a thing? <laughs> that is so fancy. Dude, I need that. 
I mean, it's very inefficient for space, but damn. All third class passengers this way, please. Third class. Okay. I like that. So the, the, the whisper items are still all voice acted. A lot of shit here. Can't go down. Can't go anywhere. What is this thing? What is this thing? I mean, I know it's a fire, but fire hydrant? What a weird shape. In case of fire, strike the knob. We're going this way. Oh my goodness. I think the ship might be falling apart. There's some turbulence. What the heck? Is that a freaking platypus? What is that? It's like a t toothless fish. I love the sounds. I hope, okay, is the sound audio good? In an unprecedented move, the director decided to shoot his next motion picture aboard an oceanic liner traveling across the Atlantic. Plot details are kept under wraps, but our trusted sources claim that the project has found its star in blank, which is probably our name. An obvious choice, perhaps given the star's fabled career and numerous, numerous critically acclaimed roles. It seems that the recent worrying rumors as to the artist's personal life have not dissuaded the director. Okay. We're getting story. We have a prob problematic personal life. What else is new? Welcome to 2023. It's probably not in 2023, though. This does not look like that, that time period. Are we going to see other people? Probably not. This is probably our nightmare. Uh, from security office to chief security officer, the new procedures came into force as of next week. The company holds you personally responsible for enforcing them. Prepare all of the guards for detailed briefings. As you are well aware, there have been prior incidents of unwanted individuals making their way aboard the vessel. We must ensure that this does not happen again. In short, stowaways will not be tolerated. Open all the things even when stuff doesn't... It's on the fan. I need that. It's hot as hell out here. A weird fan. Very big fan. Can't look out the window, sadly. What the? Oh, this is literally leaking. That is concerning. <laughs> I'm gonna run away from that. Out of sight, out of mind. Oh. Everything is leaking. This is not good. That's the last thing you want to see on a ship. But if you can actually crouch in this one, in, th in the first layers of fear, you couldn't crouch. It was actually kind of jarring. Some t some sections. They've nailed the, the ocean atmosphere. Never met the guy in person, but few people have. That's why you hear all these rumors about him being broken or disfigured. All that nonsense. Um. Just a, just a cane. We need to. Oh. We need to remember these voices. Oh, so that looks like the pic. So we're gonna see this. That is the picture of the demon from the lighthouse lady. So if you ever see that picture, that's a reference. To, so that's her still, or that's the deep demon creeping through the. The seams of her writing? The walrus looking thing, yeah. It's a very weird demon. That's crazy. Where are we going, huh? Where are the, where's everyone? Am I all alone here? Oh. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be here. What is SOS again? Two long, three short, long. Just static noise. What are, oh, um. Three short, three long, three short. Okay, why do I always forget? <laughs> I got an achievement. Send out an SOS. <laughs> Dude, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> 
Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. I like that. Oh, this is change. Can't go back. Bad ending. It's like. This does make me think you could totally. I could see a really cool Phasmo map on a cruise ship. Like a hallway like this, dude. One of these cabins is haunted. That'd be kind of sick. That'd work really well. Oh, I love these lamps. They're like lawyer lamps. I don't know. I always... Can we flush the toilet? Incredible. What a life to live. That's a big ship. I can't even wash my hands. I hate these. Uh, what, what is even the point of this? <laughs> the double faucet? I hate the ones where you have to like, uh, balance. You have like two, two moving parts. One is hot, one is cold. Just give me like, just give me one. One that you like move side to side. The best, you can find me on this. The best faucet handle design is one that's like, just one thing. You move the thing left to right to select the hot and then you move it up to let it go. No double, double fucking things you have to tweak and turn and stuff. It's fucking annoying. I told him that you're not interested. As per your extremely stupid wish, he told me to tell you that he thought your sibling meant more to you. I told him you're an only child, but he just laughed. No double knobs or bullshit. Oh, you get a picture. Aha. Uh -huh. We collect those. Find your first photo slide achievement. Dude, they're giving me so many achievements. Thank you. What's in the bottom one, though? Nothing. Alright, anyway. What is this? What's this room? Um. I can't open it. I'm, I've never been good at... Having a multi-knob faucet. Like the one super annoying thing when you go on an Airbnb and they have like... No, what I do like though, what, what do you guys? So I, I live in a place in the Netherlands. We are pussies when it comes to uh, showers and all our showers are like pathetic. They're like little trickles of rain. Whereas whenever I go on vacation to like France or something, the showers are just like high pressure beams. And I actually really like the high pressure beams. That's like the one thing I'm like, oh man, I wish we had more of that. Cause we do not have that stuff here. We, we have the most pathetic rain showers you've ever seen. Dear fellow traveler, I apologize for being forward, but when I heard, but when I'd heard we were to travel on the same ship, I could not resist the temptation. Just think of me as an admirer of your talent. Your performances, they speak to me like no others ever have. To, have. to say that you are my favorite actor would be a gross understatement. I do wish we could meet in person. Still, if you could grace this modest piece of paper with your signature, it would. I would treasure it more than anything. In any case, I remain forever your greatest admirer. Did we sign it? We didn't sign it? I'm, I'm assuming this... I'm assuming every letter we found is, like, related to us in some way. Every time it saves and it makes me nervous. Uh, there's Foggy here. But the one thing that's extremely annoying... The guy's got oh. a reputation. Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets them on the set. Supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy fartsy bullshit, if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. Okay, that might be our agent or something. Uh, the one thing that's extremely annoying in other countries is that the showers are usually at like shoulder height, so you have to like duck underneath them, like, like you're a child, <laughs> or you have to like try and get them as high as possible what the hell who did that so what if the guy's a little nuts <laughs> he's a director he comes with a job i mean what's he gonna do kill you 
Uh, maybe. What's my opinion on watermelons? Extremely delicious. I mean, most fruit is extremely delicious. I don't think there's a fruit where I go like, ah, yucky. I think the one I, the one fruit. I think it's all an act. Uh, did I just do that? I'm sorry. I am gonna run away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it wasn't me, I promise. What is this smoke? Like a two-dimensional smoke. The fuck? That's so weird. But, um, the one fruit, and this is, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get booed at for sure for this one. The one fruit that I don't really like is oranges, because... But, or a mandarins and or mandarin and oranges just because when you peeling them is annoying and then they all have this like white like red they have like the they, they got like spider webs on them and i'm like oh i don't want to eat the spider webs i want to eat the fruit from icarus transatlantic security office to all officers most of you are already aware of the hollywood motion picture that is going to be shot aboard our vessel we are sending you detailed guidelines as to which decks are to be restricted for regular passengers above all else the film crew and cast are not to be disturbed it is some fucked up shit here boo <laughs> definitely boo hey i was expecting it oh that's a lot of water that's not how the earth looks like that's just water. Dwells the stage where the play is badly cast. Excuse me, sir. I'm spinning like What am I doing? This is just a water planet. Oh. That's kinda sick. <laughs> the door. The door of doom. I don't like papaya. I don't like this guy. He's creepy. Do Come. you remember? Remember who you are, Simba. <laughs> Whenever someone says that in a dark Before voice, I can't help myself. You who you should be. Do you remember who you are? No, it's raining in a ship. That seems kind of good. So God. I will make you remember. Damn, that was a cool sequence. <laughs> so many have tried to be a part of my greatest work as if there was ever a choice. Only one can bring this character to life. Only one is broken enough to build it. Uh-huh. The director is evil. Mango ice cream is nice, dude. There's so many good... I mean, fruit ice cream is like the way to go. Oh, boy. Uh, are you filming me? Is this... I believe in you. What? Are you guys all in the walls? Get out of here! It's like, welcome to the game, it's all an experiment. That's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I'm sorry, child. My mango sorbet. You gotta, you gotta work on that. Why pink? Big red arrow. Wake up, Mr. Hardy. We've got to get out of this godforsaken prison before we rot. <laughs> Why are you whispering the lines? I guess because you're trying to get out of prison. I mean, oh. Uh, excuse me. I was just standing there. I could have died. Six, seven, five. Uh huh. How do I rotate? Spin. Oh. Six. There we go. Seven, five. Look at that. Anything back here, though? Is this our child or is this just fans? Children fans? That's an OSHA violation right there. 
I really love this scenery. I, l I like the house from Layers of Fear 1. I've really played a horror game on a cruise ship. Are we, are we really going? Lily, I, I'm... That's Captain Baines to you, Mr. Hardy. <laughs> Remember the name, Quartermaster, or I'll have you walk the plank. Awesome. It's a children play? Wait, what? No. I'm assuming this is stuff from our past. Uh, what the hell is this mannequin? Um, chair? <laughs> Are you okay? The chair's moving. I gotta bring it back down. Gotta reset the scene. I'm spinning. This is weird. High five! Oh, this is making me dizzy. Gotta pull this one? Oh, there's so many. Wait, I gotta direct the scene here? Okay. Pause. What does this do? Okay, that lowers the chair. I need to make sure this is in place. There's nothing else here. So oh, fake. This is not real walls. Okay, we pause it. No, no, no. I think that. Uh, I think I made it slightly too far. That's not good enough. Come on, man. All right, let's go fast. This seems tough. I gotta stop it at the exact moment. Unless I have to put it somewhere else. Unless I have to put them on the same. No. Fuck. I, I clicked the wrong button. Unless I have to put them around the same table. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Maybe I gotta make them friends. Maybe they need to be friends. How about that? There you go. No. <laughs> I sped it up instead. Okay. I swear I'm not stupid. There. He's done it. There you go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, sir. Oh, no. I'm spinning. Don't spin me. Oh, it only spins when I stand on it? No. Oh. Good stuff is happening, man. And I, I can't still not jump. These images, memories of you, they've been haunting me. And yet you cling to them, because without me, you have nothing. That a line from the movie, it kind of sounds like it. Find your first movie poster, yes. Okay. Ooh. It's a treasure hunt. Are you dead? Left or right? Always right. Uh, well, the re right ha left has a X anyway. Oh, I got lost in the sauce. What the fuck? Um, oh God. I think I made the wrong choice. I got stuck in an invisible wall. That was very confusing. This guy. Oh no, he's still there. I thought he exploded. Oh god. Yeah, this ship is falling apart at the seams. I do not appreciate. I'm back, Mahardy. Scouted out the whole area. Looks like there's a trail we can follow. <laughs> a trail? Aye. Left by fellow pirates, no doubt. To lead us to a safe harbor. Dude plane i've never been much into pirates oh they're pretty cool or whatever but some people go crazy for pirates the comfy room sleeping on a ship is so weird time and description of activities break oh 10-5, break over, 10-30, last repair technician leaves the ship through the gangway on E-deck aft. 11 p.m., patrolling the waterfront along the ship. 11:27. on patrol near cargo area, saw a shadow move, small, most likely a child. I gave chase, but could not find anyone. Line circled in red. Watch over. 
Okay, we're gonna be haunted. What is this? What is that? I don't know what that was. Oh, I found three items, as you can see at the bottom right. One of them was what I just picked up. There she is, Mr. Hardy. The fastest vessel ever built. Ready to set sail for the land of the flame. I don't see any sails. <laughs> Shh. We must make our way aboard. Quietly. <laughs> I love how one of the girls is super into it and then the other is just like, what? Oh, we're fighting. Are you holding a gun? You're going to shoot me when I get there. Uh... I don't want to go that way. That's where you're gonna. She's gonna shoot me. What is this? Is this supposed to be water? Yes. Dude, we're truly in a Disney ride over here. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Oh, it's gone. Can't go down there. Hello, hello, buddy. What are you up to? What are you sitting there for? What's your poison? Tanny, thank you for the five. I'm gonna move. This is not, seems like it would be possible, but who knows? Um, it seems like, why would you do this if you have a actual cruise ship set? Why would you fake a ship on a ship? This is convoluted as hell. Can I go in here now? I can. Oh god. Oh. It's very small here. Money. A vast, Mr. Hardy. Too many of them scurvy dogs to take head on. Lily, I want to go home. Quartermaster, steal yourself. Be your heart soaked in doubt, or be there a fire burning within. New Sea of Thieves DLC. I've never played Sea of Thieves. Looks like a type of game I would enjoy. It's just the one thing I don't like about it is that it's multiplayer. I know that's probably why most people love it. I'm just, I'm just not one for multiplayer games. Oh my god. Um. Okay, am I gonna walk into the sun? I can't. Can I stare into the sun? <laughs> Holy shit, it's gonna fall off. He's spinning at the speed of light. Uh, I'm supposed to go up here. And then, oh, stand here. Ding dong. They know how to make a spectacle, huh? It's crazy how much how much work must have gone into these games because every like few minutes you're going through like a huge choreographed scene and then you move on like that was like less than five minutes. They built this whole ship section and then you move on immediately. Oh, we're black and white now. We're going to go noir style. The scurvy dog. F, F, W, and Sons. Refined carpentry. Made to order. One sturdy wooden chest built entirely of old oak with heavy iron brand banding. Additional leather straps and carrying handles on the sides. Large enough to fit a grown man. We hope you'll find our work to your satisfaction. We're gonna, the rest of the game is going to be black and white now. Uh-huh. Or it's 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 hangman. What is it gonna say? It's gonna say actor shit actor shit actor Be ready to go back. It better not say shit actor, I'm gonna lose my, my shit. As they say character Dude, why are you guys so good at this? Character, yeah. Totally. <laughs> Shit, actor. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. Uh, where do I go? 
Do I have to type it in? Can I type it? I can't type it. There's a clock. Oh, I can't just open. Never mind. I can't open this. It can't be character. This is two letters. It can definitely be character. Definitely. Uh, I can't go back. Probably this is gonna be locked. Oh, never mind. This is just weird. Uh. In the spotlight, they were safe. Their world control uh -oh. and understandable. What? We have like a crazy flashlight? What is the hell? That's kind of cool. Film light? Yeah, what is this? I, if I like focus it I'm guessing we're gonna have to use this in a second so this is similar to what they I'm assuming this was not in the first in the or not in the first game but this was not in the original layers of fear 2 and they've added this because this is also what they added to the first game that is such a cool mechanic what <laughs> That's amazing. That reminds me of like Return of the Obra Dinn or something. That's really cool. I wish you could like play it back and forth or something. Wait, that's awesome. Oh, uh, the mannequin is gone. Shot this guy and ran off. What kind of movie are we making here? Uh, hold left shift to run. Don't say that. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to avoid the cameras. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. I'm supposed to avoid the spotlight. It is truly a crime movie. It's Mission Impossible. Oh, what are you going to do here? Are you shooting this guy too? Can I see that please? There was a code on there. I think that was rather important. Okay, I just re I rewinded the guy. I think that's all I did. I know you did it. You killed her. Double it shit. It was her killing me. Slowly. All this time. <laughs> I love how perfectly they portrayed movies. From that era. Oh no. So dramatic. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> they have kept it rather si simple. They didn't want to, like, make. Well, this is a weird. Made a film roll. This is very neat, though. That's a lot. We're, we're just actually, like, doing a crime movie right now. We're stealing from the huge vault. Oh, whoops. I fucked up, I think. Wait, maybe? Nope. Holy shit, that's a big one. That's the biggest door I've ever seen. They actually make these door th doors this big, right? I'm assuming that it's like just a giant metal box in like actual... I guess in banks, they don't have much money. I mean, I mean they probably have a lot of money, but the, most of the money is digital nowadays. How much of the money is like... I'm assuming like only a fraction, like at maximum. You can't convince me that more than 10% of all the money that exists is actual like physical money probably like one percent oh here we go hen oh fuck n a d forty that says about ten percent okay i guess ten percent then that in the land we've seen behind shut eyes 
the one of bright shores caressed by tide, where there's no pain, no fear, no fury, no lies. There we shall stand tall, our hearts full of pride. If your dreams are bold, and by no man bound, if your soul is strong, unlike any other, able to build walls or tear to the ground, then yours is this world, my little brother. That was a little too poetic for me to understand what the fuck you were saying. Also, I'm in a different place now. Excuse me. Can I take it with me? I cannot take it with me. When did the original Layers of Fear 2 came out? It must have not been very long ago. Is that real water? Looks kind of fake. You can see the pixels in the water. What if you just walk up to a bank? And then you just like say, I want to take out all my money. Would they just say, fuck you? Like, what would they do? <laughs> they probably... S can't do this through... Oh, I can. Thank you. They have to give it. Uh, another one of these film rolls. Okay, we found two of them. Mr. Hardy is a quartermaster. Okay, so this is written by a child, obviously. Look at the handwriting. Mr. Cor Mr. Hardy is a quartermaster, and that is a very important thing to be, to be because a quartermaster takes care of getting the crew where it needs to be and also makes sure there's plenty of food and rum for everyone. Mr. Hardy is very loyal to the captain and always follows orders because he knows that he, the captain, not Mr. Hardy, is a fearless leader. The captain sometimes gets crossed with Mr. Hardy, but that's only because he cares greatly about the whole crew. The truth is... Blank. Wholesome. Wholesome action. What? I, I guess I needed that key. Did I use this key? There. I need to go in here first. Um... What the fuck is this? Not all lives are created equal, but one can become a vessel to carry within the flame of another. Who are we to deny it? Who are we? Why is this like four year old child saying some <laughs> voodoo mumbo jumbo? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. What was that about? It was like a secret area. I could have just walked straight past this. Anyway. For four year. You, you've you heard English numbers before. Four and 40 sound similar, but I definitely said four. Oh. He's gone. Oh, there's just a door. What? That's cool. I heard a door. Where is this door? New door? Can I go through it? That's sick, and we're back in the movie. Seven sides to give the four twenty-four. Is this the shining? This is the shining? <laughs> I know that I know that floor plus tricycle anywhere. <laughs> Great fucked up movie. Only watched it actually like two years ago for the first time. I was late to the party. Another picture. They're setting up a film set. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Get wrecked, idiot. Dummy. You should have expected it was a, cha a chair fallen out of the sky at any moment. What an amateur mistake. You've never seen The Shining? It's a pretty fool. It's like... This fellow oh. is wise enough to play the fool. Oh, that's it? Um, I thought you were gonna do like a movie sh scene. Uh, it's a interesting movie. I would definitely not like... 
It's a little too weird for me personally. I know it's come with a burden. Like uh stuff from a pirate ship or from an old timey ship. Figures, faces, voices from the past. That is like moving at two frames per second. That is kind of haunting me. You're not gonna hear a crowd cheer. Why are you guys moving so slow? Stop! This is weird. What the fuck is this? I'm just gonna move back. First thing to do is to get rid of it. Get rid of it. A little spark is all it takes to set oh. the human soul. Well, rip that guy. Can I turn with the game audio a bit? I can do exactly that. Um, there. I guess I could. This game sounds quieter than the than the first one. We'll just turn it up the max. We'll see how it goes. Probably gonna be too loud now. But Andreas, thank you for the eight. Uh, Grape, thank you for the two sevens with the twenty four again. Hayes Bear with the three. Chocolate Pie with the fifteen, and Jess with the thirteen. Thank you guys. An act of creation always begins with an act of destruction. Oh boy. Thank you. What do I got? Little ball. Is that... It does it though? Yeah, that doesn't sound true at all. It sounds like you just made it up. That you just thought of something that... Uh... That sounded deep, and you just said it without backtracking. One life ends, another begins. One life ends. The right one. Ah! I have to choose? Action. Which one? The lady or the businessman? I'm gonna shoot the businessman. Because he, I don't know. Sexism, I guess. For life. Oh. One must be taken. The right one. <laughs> okay, the right one. Okay, dude. The right one. <laughs> no. Rip. That'll do for now. Wonder what would have happened if I kept shooting the Monopoly man. I'm sorry. I had no choice. I mean, I did probably have a choice. I'm not sure. Anyway. Oh, the bullet hole is still going. The bullet hole is going to go through all the scenes now. I feel like these these people really wanted to make like. It, this totally fits because in the first one it already felt like they wanted to make a movie Because it's a oh Wait, we're on the opposite side now. I remember this scene We were there before Because they are great at building up a spectacle. It's honestly it would make these games so fun Like I wouldn't want to have every game to be like this but just every now and then playing like a spectacle game is such a nice breath of fresh air. Just playing these like, game, like turn your brain off and just walk through some insanity. It's a fun time. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. There's so many bullet holes. I only shot once. I mean, I did shoot twice, but it didn't actually work. Emily, thank you for the prime. Cruise ships are kind of crazy. Oh, what the fuck was that? Slenderman? No, Slender was on the ship. 
game is really that long it should be we we're gonna oh hi there obedience it's something you should learn uh we're gonna finish it today at least that's the that's what the plan is i don't see why we wouldn't um do i gotta follow the bullet hole yep Doesn't seem right. That's extremely bright. Jesus Christ, they're flashing. Oh, hi, Slender. That is totally Slender Man. Slender Lady, I don't know. Slender something. They got no face. I'm getting. They're getting hypnotized. I'm gonna be fanned. These are some weird mannequins. They're not your regular spooky mannequins. Oh, they're everywhere now. Uh, don't shoot me. I've done nothing. Let's shoot that other person. Oh. Fuck, this is such a strange game. You just be looking around and then everything is just changing. Oh, no, thank you for the 12. Oh, we're back in black and white world. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, it's just white world now. What the hell? Uh, hi. Um, no, thank you. Uh, are you gonna kill me? I should run. You're cursed. Uh oh, uh oh, open the door. I can't leave. fucking kill that guy what the hell oh well damn dude ew slender man in the eight layers of fear Really like how oh, hi there. You shouldn't play with strangers. She wouldn't like that. She doesn't like it when you play with anyone but her. You run away from me? Isn't that the child we saw at the beginning? That got like decapitated by the demon? I thought it was. I wonder we have to disentangle that story from this story? Because I don't have the luxury of having played this again to know what is part of this story and what is part of the the lighthouse story. Prop, shopping list, replica of a 17th century flintlock pistol. One fully operational. I'm pretty sure that all the guns on a set are definitely not fully operational. That seems like asking for trouble. Flash powder, crossed out gunpowder, blah, 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 ammunition. Why would you have a fully operational gun prop that's susek thank you for the prime i guess you could fill them with blanks but blanks are also capable of damaging stuff it's still like it's just like with it doesn't have like the bullet part but it still has the explosive part Only one of us knows what must be done. Only one of us knows what is at stake. The other doesn't need to know, doesn't need to understand, only to listen and act. Oh, you're just gone. I'm assuming every time it turns black and white, we're going through. Lily, I think there's something in the dark. Someone's coming. Hello? Anyone there? Bloody hell. Sorry, the chief wants it checked so bad he can bloody well do it himself. Interesting. Yeah, this it is kind of a haunted house game. 
Daily sketch. This production miniature copy. Uh, hello? Anyone there? I heard that. Anyone back here? Yeah, this is this is what Jared Leto does before he does a becomes the Joker. He goes to a method acting on a cruise ship. Method acting is such a weird thing. It should be illegal. <laughs> like you only oh god, you only ever hear of method. Uh, excuse me, Slender. Can you fuck off? Hell. You thank you. You only ever hear of method acting gone horribly wrong. You never heard hear of it going horribly well. I don't know what this thing is, but it's definitely chasing me. Holy shit, that's crazy. <laughs> Please get out of the way. Thank you. Okay, I was just about to say this. There's not been an enemy yet, but then they show up with this guy. Damn. This bottle do. Hurry, we have to secure it. They'll be here any moment. Lily. I'm scared. You should be scared. You know what happens if they find us. They'll send us back. Uh. Oh, he's breaking through! Uh-oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, so... Let me guess. The children of the actor... Snuck on the ship? Is that what's going on? Like, they're stowaways? Oh boy. That's what it sounds like to me right now. Run. Uh. Oh god, he just did it one go. Thank you. What the fuck is going on here? I go back to the colorful world instead of this black and white terror land the door behind you it's our fort the hunt oh more rats i see the rat theme keeps going this chapter is long this is still the first chapter of the five chapters of this one that's crazy Oh. Without me, you are just as lost as they are. Aha, okay, so that ties in. So basically, um, at the end of... So this lady that's writing these stories, right? The lady in the lighthouse is writing these stories. So she wrote the story of the painter. Now she's writing the story of the actor. And somewhere through writing the story of the painter, which is Layers of Fair 1, uh, she stopped writing for a moment and then... There was this like creepy demon like in the in the lighthouse and the demon started talking to her and the demon was like if you need my you want my help i can help you write the stories better and she accepted the help of the demon which she called the muse it was this like the, the creepy thing you just saw the walrus looking thing um and then at the end of the painter story which is layers of fair one she she rejected the demon she was like no i don't need you anymore but now it seems like the demon is trying to break through uh there we go chapter two we're in chapter two the demon is trying to break through and get power over the lighthouse lady again somehow i don't really know i'm really curious how they're gonna tie that up character you guys are totally right it's not shit actor what a surprise seems you're off to a good start glad to hear 
glad to hear you and the director are getting along. Just keep doing what you're doing, and we'll get this thing in the can in no time. Your friend and agent. Also, I have to talk about this. I put it in this, the description of the first video. But you know, yesterday, I, I love the stories in these games so much. Because um, there's, so, there's so many little details. You know, in the Layers of Fear 1, there are these three times that the lady refers to this other woman of infinite beauty... Who her husband longs for and i just assumed the easy thing that it was that he was cheating however it didn't sit it didn't make any sense because the the guy never said anything about it but you know what it's not another woman it's herself she's talking about herself from so this is about the other game she's talking about herself from before she got the burns from the incident I, I'm trying to talk to people that have, like, watched me yesterday. Um, so, she, and that also, so that explains why we didn't never hear the man talk about a cheater, because there wasn't a cheater. She just means that the husband longs for how she looked like before the burning incident. So she's talking about another lady. And then the, she's talking about this lady with infinite beauty, which means the painting. The painting he made of her before she got the burns was called the lady in black and remember she burned that painting because and and like the the friend that that sent that message like why would she burn that painting it doesn't make any sense well now it makes sense because she was she couldn't bear looking at herself anymore uh from before the incident because she knows she knew she could never look like that again so yeah that's crazy the, the detail it's very depressing but <laughs> when I, I was like laying in bed and i was like it just doesn't add up. Like, what What was the cheater thing all about? And then all of a sudden it clicked. Okay, what is this? Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, testing, testing, testing. We are now entering the eastern part of the borough. This particular area holds a special place in my heart as I grew up not far from here myself. Things have changed, it seems, for better or worse. I see children playing in the streets, not a care in their little minds. If it wasn't for their shabby clothes, one could almost forget about the crushing poverty that plagues so many. Oh, you don't have to rotate. I can just hold it. What do we have here? A boy. Lol. <laughs> alone. Perhaps he won't mind if we pick his brain a bit. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Morning, young man. What's your good morning? Good man. Your morning. What's your name? Okay. James? We are now entering what? part of the borough. Okay, it ended there. James. I how would you possibly be able to sleep with a metronome? That would drive me insane. Put the mask on? I don't want to put the mask on. Uh, inside every actor is the one part they were born to play. The one character they were meant to build. Chip away the bloody marble. Give form to the formless until all that remains is the truth. I, watch the other, I want to watch these photos. Ah, uh, we have another one. Getting on the ship. More ship pictures. And then nothing. Nobody cared until I put on the mask. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and then up here, do we have anything? We have all kinds of stuff. What? Wait, excuse me? What? I got an achievement for that, but what's that all about? I'm looking out the vast ocean. Gonna be a kraken eating the ship. Anyway. This is the hub, by the way. We're just, like, checking out before we hop into the next chapter. I wanna check out all the new story bits. Build the character. Motivation. What drives me? What do I want? What do I need? 
What are my virtues crossed out? My flaws. Who, what haunts me? Okay, so we, have, we have a just rat tape. Can we watch that? I want to watch the rat tape. Can I? Oh. Is this going to be the same tape again? Oh, we got a leg now. We've, we're slowly building a mannequin here. Now, they knew a part of the answer to the director's question. Before the world told them what to be. They were stowaways. Hidden deep in the entrails of the beast that was the ship. They hid and fought for survival, losing more and more of themselves. Now they had to descend again into the entrails of the beast that was their own mind. Find what they lost. It was still there, buried, hidden away, locked in a vault. A prison of themselves. Deep down, there was only instinct, a need and an act, hunger and violence. And was there also a choice? It feels like I'm being hypnotized or like brainwashed with this movie. Hey, the nine, what's up? Is that a little heart? A little heartbeat? It's a reverse hangman, I guess, maybe. Here we go. Chapter two, the hunt. Also, what were you guys saying? I want to scroll up real quick. Um, isn't it that she decided against the muse after she finished a book? That the price she was paid was too much? Apparently, the guys... Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. So, yeah, there was something with the... Like, she is sent to the lighthouse to write a book, right? By this other guy. And the other guy also also knows of the muse, right? The muse is apparently haunting the lighthouse and not the lady, necessarily. And she, like, threatened the guy to say, like, Hey, I'm gonna try and get rid of this demon so no one can write cool books for you. So basically what this guy does is send people to this haunted lighthouse to then... Have the writers be possessed to write cool stories? I guess that's what they're doing. And she's trying to break free from that writing curse. Maybe. I'm really curious how they're gonna... Do you remember hunger? I could use... I could go for a pizza or something. I remember hunger. As if it was yesterday. New mechanic? Yeah. Uh never mind. Could we take this again? Uh <laughs> there's something wrong with the picture. I I think you must have moved. You just don't look quite yourself. That's a little haunting. Is it this picture? Cause then I can agree. Uh, what the fuck? That's kind of sick. She says that is turbo cursed. Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, this guy got wrecked. It was just back. I mean, it was backwards haunted audio. Excuse me, I'm such a big fan. <laughs> Could you please sign? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I mistook you for someone else. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Imagine. <laughs> if you're actually an actor, that would hurt so much. <laughs> no. How to break someone's self-esteem 101. Are you you have a mask on now? Wait a minute. Thank you for the key. Why do you have an axe though? This is truly the shining. Disappeared. 
no, 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 I should not have gone there. I made a grave mistake. Please, sir. Oh, you got stabbed. I don't know. People are getting killed left and right now. Um, well, there's no way to go. I guess we're going down. Jump! Whee! Was that it? That... Yes. We're in the machine room now. Up, oh, full speed ahead. Astern ahead. Oh wait, we need to do dead slow. When chasing dreams, we often find ourselves in a nightmare. Is that this is. Mr. Poetic Lines. Oh god, this sword is very heavy. I don't know why I did that. It was just interactable, so I just set it to pull it. Can I put it back in? Um. You want? Is very dark now. I don't like this. Can I turn the lights back on, please? That's a lot of dials. It's a lot of just spinning dials that are probably saying very concerning stuff. I plug. Oh, maybe we gotta move it in somewhere else. Get. Ah, we gotta plug it in here. There you go. Boom. Oh, this opened up? Yes. That is a lot of machines. What's up here? Refugees like. I'm in the description of activity. Oh, here we go. One oh five. Oh, so this is the security guard looking for the stowaways, by the way. Uh, 105 a.m. Starting patrol of the lower decks. 130 a.m. Engine room appears to be in order. Moving to the cargo holds. 138 a.m. Heard suspicious noises amongst the cargo. Went to investigate. Flashlight broke. Had to double check to get a spare. Lined in circle. Or lined in red. Damage to the damage to company property deduct from pay Derelict of duty recommend disciplinary action. What the hell he just went to get a spare flashlight and he's got double fucked for that 1053 or 153 a.m. Resuming patrol no further signs of disturbance 2:30 a.m. Shift over. I guess this guy is never he's just gonna lie from now on This is why parents usually praise honesty rather than punishing it too much because it's just gonna mean your employees will just start lying if even the slightest mistakes get them in trouble like that. Whoa, what the fuck? This guy is turbo haunted. I don't like that guy. Is this, is this a film set again? Why are all these lights here? He's just helping me. He's just telling me where I gotta go. How nice of him. Yeah, I don't think I'm authorized to be here. Give 
me the food. I'm hungry. No, all the food. The potatoes. Psycho, no. Rip. Oh, God. Uh, I'm high as hell. Everything is disappearing. And Nat Nathan, thank you for the eight. Oh. Wait, same room. The kitchen area. Destroying the food right next to the oil. Yummy. A single apple. Nice try, you didn't get me. That is disgusting. This place looks way nicer. We're back in the normal part of the ship. I appreciate it. Um, that does not open. Oh. That is some. You are so delicious. That is some uh, Mandela catalog shit. That monster that's chasing me. At least it's not an orange. Hey, what's the best fruit though? Like we, I think we can all agree orange sucks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just don't like orange. I mean, oh god, I'll I'll eat an orange for sure. It's just I don't prefer it. Uh, please. Oh god. Ah! I ran out of food. No, I'm dead. I got fucking murdered, brother. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Good job. <clears throat> that guy's genuinely spooky. Avoc is that avocado a fruit? Because if avocado is a fruit, it's the best fruit. Avocado is like the best food ever made. I don't know why. I love avocados. Go. There's, it's like a crazy I guess every fruit tends to be very soft like bananas and stuff but there's something so weird about an avocado you literally just like spoon it out of its out of its uh shell what do you call it <laughs> what do you call the skin I guess <laughs> Peel, peel. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I broke everything. I apologize. Apples. Apples are too basic. Uh, I only got four seconds. Uh, oh, there you go. That, that makes no sound. Expecting that to sound real loud. What the fuck is this? You hate avocado unless it's guacamole? What's wrong with you? Uh, am I supposed to go back? It's just a fan. There's mic equipment everywhere, so we're still on a film set. Grapes. Grapes are okay. I'm not the I'm not the biggest grape fan. I think I mean olives aren't a fruit, but olives are wait, are olives of maybe olives are, are olives a fruit? What are olives? <laughs> I really like olives too. Technically, yes. Oh boy, what's going on in here? Oh, we're... Huh? The door. Can't go through the... Oh! Never mind. It's a fake door. Spooky door. 
It's so weird that so much... Oh. This movie is mega haunted. I prefer... Savory... Oh. Savory over... Sweet for sure. And this door just... Be normal? Oh, and now I gotta put in the door frame. Wait a minute. Is this good how it goes? Aha, uh -huh, we need to combine it to make a door. Then we put in the door frame. And then we put in the door handle. And that's how you do it. That's how it's done. Maybe? Is that not good enough? Do I need to do something else? Do I need to find a key in here? Ah! <laughs> There you go. That's really cool. Puzzles are so simple, but they're... They're just visual. Visually fun. Ding dong. Watermelons are really good. I think cheese is just the best fruit, honestly. I mean, cheese is pretty good. <laughs> Jeez, da, 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 da. You would say that. What is stop with the fucking metronome? I hate it here. Jeez, it's the best fruit ever. Tragedy strikes at the heart. Despair consumes the soul. A life crumbles. Oh, uh, he's dying. Someone save him. Look, like I could do something with that. Thank you for the biddy's lost soul. Turn on the machine, or did I turn it off? I think I turned it off. Oh. That was weird. Something is gonna attack any moment. I killed a man. I literally just murdered that guy. Was that a choice there? Am I doing all the wrong choices? From chief security officer to whom it may concern. It has come to my attention that some of the food supplies have gone recently gone missing. In light of this, what? Can you stop banging this door, please? In light of this, I'm left with no other choice but to introduce increased security measures. Starting today, food will be rationed to individual crew members and the provision storage will be guarded at all times. So these are the stowaways probably stealing food. So they're not going to have any food anymore. That's bad. Oh, we need a code. You okay. Ooh. It's a fucking exorcism. Uh, excuse me. Here is wisdom. Zero four five. Aha. Uh -huh. Zero four five. Well, what's going on back here? Hi. Child. Get up, Code Master. What's done is done. No use crying. We need to venture forth and find some fresh supplies. Here, take this. It will help you find your strength. Wow. Are you like a robot? Excuse me. Hello? I kind of want to... Is, is this code about... So, I want to check the code first. Or is this, this, is this the way to continue? Zero... How do you fuck it there? Zero, four... Five... Is this just a secret? Uh, I think... I hope this is not the way to continue. You know what? If this is the way to continue, 
Like, if it's a 50-50, which way is the way to continue? I'd, I mean, this has got to be the way to continue, obviously. It's the, chi the child and everything. Let's just check this out. I just want to see what's here. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's just a little picture. Thou knowest is common. All that lives must die. Passing through nature to eternity. Hamlet. Classic. Never actually watched Hamlet. Nor, like, classic Shakespeare, Shakespeare plays. Never really watched any of them. I've only seen, like, weird adaptations of Romeo and Juliet. That's, like, as far as it goes. Um, I don't think I want to go in there. Feasible teeth, think of it, the 19. Boring and annoying books. Um, that is a large room. What the fuck are you looking at? It's pointing at one. If we need a code, one. They're fucking mod checking, dude. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Hi, just stand there. There's an elevator. <laughs> There's just body parts that doesn't seem right. I think I've landed in some hellish universe right now. Oh, we gotta do a puzzle. Puzzle time. Which ones can I move? I can move it back and forth. Okay. Can I move the outer row too? Oh, I can select which one. Okay, I see. That's not quite it, the middle row. Talker Bone, thank you for the prime. Did I just make it like a face? Two eyes and a mouth? <clears throat> Looks like Newt Newt or something. It's Choo Choo Charles. Newt Newt. It's still not going here. Ah, I turn on the elevator, right? Uh, Are they dancing? What's going on? Oh God! Oh, uh, that looks... Uh oh, uh oh. That's pretty fucked up. Um... 11? I need to set a time. What have I done? Um, what am I doing? What exactly? I'm adding a sum. Okay, now we do 10. And then we do one. I see. Why though? <laughs> I've sold marches on death turns to decay. I'm sorry, people. It's a 
flower. I thought the lady was gonna talk again. Well then, I'll leave you guys to it. I'm going to get the hell out of here. Oh, hi. Um, <laughs> okay then. So how's your day been? How are the kids? <laughs> They're fucking haunted. Coming with me. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, this is not a ship anymore. Oh, they're gone. This is just like a no. This is we're just in like no shadows of doubt right now. This is some detective movie from the 80s. What? Is this falling apart? Oh, it's the guy with- you're alive? I give you the flowers. Oh. That's not what I expected would happen. It makes the world so bright. So bright. The stolen flame burns strong. Burns quick. A stolen flame. Burns out. Well then. Rip that guy. What are you looking at? You'll be fine. I'm taking the elevator back. This is what I'm talking about, though, with this game. Like, it's crazy just how much production value this game has. Like, a, a scene like this. Just, like, this whole spectacle, and then you just, like, probably immediately leave. Click this button, and we're out of here. Oh, you're back. <laughs> <clears throat> Like, it feels like you're speedrunning even when you're casually playing. The Destroyer, thank you for the 32 months. Yeah, we got friends in here. Oh, oh no, we're going in the mouth ourselves. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, then. Oh no. No. What the frick? Oh, I gotta give you something? Is that what I gotta do? High five? <laughs> Oh, well, rip that guy. That is the weirdest posture I've ever seen. Why are you walking like that? Wait, do I not need to give the hands up? I right, whatever. It's vent in time. Don't tell anyone.
Why are we still black and white? Like, it must be significant. But it is confusing. Oh, my flashlight turned off. I was like, what the hell's that noise? It just ran out of paint. What if you would do what the fuck? What if they would do that? Like make a place where everything is like black and white. Just like an exhibition where it's like a whole building where all the furniture is just black and white and you just like walk around in it and it's just really weird. You're like, wait a minute. I'm in like an old TV show. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I was just talking about the color. Thank you. We got color. There's got to be places like that for sure. Uh, top of the page torn off. Involved in a number of personal scandals, sparking moral outrage and rumors as to the th thespian's mental health. Our sources within the household revealed that the star would spend hours on end behind locked doors. Voices could be heard at times accompanied by laughter or crying... But then the door would open, revealing there was no one else in the room. Still, as famed critic Noah Wensley is quick to remind us, extraordinary artists seldom lead ordinary lives. We must not forget that great art carries a heavy cost. To lose oneself in a role sometimes leads to losing oneself, period. Okay, we're a method actor. We're the worst kind. Looks like the rats got to it before us. Feels bad. What's that? Shh. We're not alone here. Dun dun dun. I'm gonna turn. Sometimes these, these, especially these children's voices can be kind of quiet. I love the wood. Oh, hi. How's that work? Uh oh, no, no, thank you. Don't chase me. Uh, they're still. Ha Wait, we're back down here. Had to reinforce some of the cages. Something's got the animals all spooked. Might be they sense the storm coming. Need to batten down the hatches. It's gonna be a big one. I'm so lucky not to live in a place where you constantly have... Oh, God. Where you constantly have, like, storms and stuff. Also, fuck you, man. Like, real storms. Because storms, like, here, if you get a storm, it's just, like, a nice thing. Why are you chasing me? Like freaking SCP-173. But if you're like actually in a place where you have tornadoes and stuff, that is not fun. The doggy. We, we don't have any natural disasters for that matter. It's very neat. We only have to deal with water. Beal, Beal and Co. Animal Trainer. Service provided dog training plus delivery. 225 US dollars. Age plus contents delivered to the live cargo deck. Kept feeding to a minimum as instructed. Handle with caution. We're in a kennel now. Is this guy gonna climb up the stairs? But he, he went closer. Yeah, why would he keep it to a minimum? Maybe because they wanna... Like, make the dog, oh, like, tournament ready or something, and maybe there- Is there weight classes in, like, beauty pageants? Prob oh, God. Probably not. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, dog shows. Oh, Jesus. I'm... I, uh, oh, God. Hi. Why are you all after me? You guys are being creepy, you know that? Stay away. 
Am I locking myself up in here? This was, I'm, I don't think this was what I'm supposed to do. I thought they were going to ship me. What do you got? Oh no. Don't kick it down. Oh. I'll try to avoid that. I want it. What was that? Special artifact? Look, there's something there. Fuck is go this is not a OSHA certified ship. <laughs> this seems very dangerous. Purple head, thank you for converting your sub. Look over there. Can't you see it? No. Nothing is as it seems. Every time it goes black and white, we're in the children situation. I guess that's what the black and white means. Okay, we can't keep that. The OSHA exists. I mean, there were. There was a time when there was very. Oh. And businesses just made shit up as as they went. Wasn't there a door there? Just you're fucking with me. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, <laughs> stop that shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Top of the page torn off. Mr. Hardy wouldn't get far without his beloved Captain Baines. The captain is the main character of the story. Some people call him the Black Wanderer because of the color of his ship's sails. Captain Baines is strong and fearless, and he always gets the treasure in the end. Mr. Hardy is a bit envious of the captain because he would like to be as strong as him. Black and white time. I need more pieces of the story. It's really because there seems to be like three storylines happening at once and it's a little uh little confusing. I guess that's the same what that was happening in the first one, but at least I had the benefit of having played it before, so it was easier. Oh boy. Um Hammer? It's hammer time. like it's a bit too well bolted down for a regular coffin why would you need to why are you trying so hard to keep the um it's vampires oh god uh jesus christ i'm running i don't like that guy that guy creeps me out Going backwards, dead slow. From chief security officer to whom it may concern, I've informed that some of the crew had voices, has voiced their misgivings about the new rationing policy. Let me remind you that it was introduced as a direct result of misconduct occurring aboard this ship. I cannot stress this enough. Theft will not go unpunished. How much food did the children eat, man? 
the fact that they needed to ration the ship. Don't ships like this have like a ton of extra food? Kind of crazy you can just like, there's like cruise ships that have like restaurants on them and you can just like order anything off the menu that you want. Even like they brought all that shit from the shore. <laughs> They had they prepared for for what you were gonna eat. That's why you can't order stuff on a in an airplane You have like two options because they don't want to take a bunch of extra food that they're not gonna need This one's empty too, but it's kind of crazy. Looking. You can on a cruise ship Lily, I mean captain there's something out there in the dark Hush now stay behind me. I won't let anything happen to you I mean, they're not going to be killed if they get found. They'll just be like apprehended and put in the. Ah! Oh my god. Holy fuck. <laughs> Run. Jesus Christ, that was properly spooky. Help, help, help. He's insane. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Well, uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, death. Death must be so beautiful. Good God, man. That's fucked up. All right, we run properly. Just run immediately. Don't look at him. We gotta stop him, or do we just keep running? Thank you. I don't even. Oh, I gotta go in here. I'll probably have closed the door behind me. How'd you get through that? That's impressive. Oh no. Oh no. He's fake! Run. Thank you. Why is everyone standing in the way? Uh, oh boy. What the fuck? <laughs> what is that picture? Why? Confused as hell. Why is it just a child? That's fucking cursed, man. Excuse me. Okay. Such an opportunity, such responsibility to unleash what has been trapped for so long. I can hear it howling, rattling in its cage, dying to get out. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Listen, I talked to some people. The man is difficult, yes, but he is a genius. You can take something from it for yourself. Achieve the greatness you sometimes talk about. Just listen to what he has to say. You don't have to do it, but listen. So this is the director. Dire the director seems to be a little fucked up. He's putting us in... Because we hate water, right? Our character didn't want to go on the ship, but our agent forced us to go. Do I have to do something with this? Oh, I can't pull it out again. Oh, there's a there's a door. <laughs> He's got a door as a head. This shit is weird. <laughs> okay. What the fuck, man? That was properly strange. This one is definitely more scary than Layers of Fear 1. Maybe it's because I it's the first time I play it. I'm playing it. It's still not like... I'd say like the, the Layers of Fear series never tried to be the most terrifying horror game. They tried to just like tell a really cool story through the narrative of a psychological horror game. Because I, I see so many people give these games... 
Like for so you just got to go in with the right expe expectations. You shouldn't go into a layers of fear game expecting the most terrifying experience leave it, ever. Mr. Hardy. We're not that desperate yet. James, I said leave it. Cuz it's meant it's more meant as like a experience Oh. Uh an experience game. Don't talk in my ears like that. Rats again, yeah. Because I saw, and also skills, yeah. Because I saw some reviews on like Steam that were like, the game's just not scary. And it's like, yeah, but that's also not really the point. I mean, it is called a horror game. So you are, it's fair to expect horror. The life of one can outweigh the lives of many. Interesting. The Why are you moving? First, a life of one can outweigh the lives of many. The special rat. The title does literally say fear. I, I mean, I don't know what their marketing is. is at stake and lies hang in the balance. becomes weakness. This is definitely Plus spooky. Your instinct. But it's not like a short indie game that just like terrifies you with oh boy. Or reason. Okay. I have to choose, I have to choose. Trust your instinct. Tip Wait. the skill. Take it or give up. What I have to choose? Take it. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me? I was just wait. Take what? Yeah, what am I taking here? Am I taking his food? Why would I take his food? Why would I take his food? I'm gonna give up. I don't want to take this guy. Just let him eat it. Walk away. Okay, I cannot. Unless I can. He really wants me to take it. What if I just don't? Is there is this the illusion of choice? Is there no choice? <laughs> Let me I try one more time. Trust the life that was to be. The life that never found its frame. Ah. Weightless. Okay, so you can do it. You just gotta do it for many, many times. Okay. Aha. Okay, so I messed up in the first choice because you remember I shot the the hat it not I didn't shoot the top hat multiple times. Okay. So let's let's keep defying the the demon. I cuz I think that's going to lead to the most interesting ending. Usually in games the hardest thing to do leads to the most interesting ending, and in this case obviously it's harder to not listen to the guy going backstage you didn't take it you you scarf ah <laughs> wait a minute oh I see it's you a let it go you regret it okay yeah, this is definitely interesting You gave up. Hey! You'll oh. never make it. Stop flaming me! <laughs> what did I have her do to you? I mean, I'm assuming this is her talking to her sister or something. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, yeah, but it. it oh. There probably would have been consequences if you took it, like you would have been attacked. Found a baby rat in the gutter. She held the boy's head in the gutter till he promised to never do it again. There's always someone stronger than you. Okay. A bit dark. 
This is this the this is not the same voice as the people, right? Or the other two, or what? Uh, I want to go here real quick. Grab my words and my deeds. That's just the fucking toilet. Ah, what is forever? If not merely a prolonging of misery, I would gladly give it up for a life of meaning, of purpose. Vampires. Never understood. A whole vampire craze. From the chief security officer to all officers, I am hereby ordering the supplies to be transferred to a more secure location in the upper cargo hold. I expect all provisions to be safe and accounted for in the next report. In any case, I wish to hear no more on the matter. They just make them hot, that's all. That is strange. Oh. Wasn't, isn't Twilight originally just like a fan fiction of something else? And then it became like this huge movie franchise? That is ridiculous. Is this a Harry Potter fan fiction? <laughs> what? That's a lot of money, by the way. Treasure! Fifty Shades of Harry Potter. <laughs> No good. We'll never find any food. James, look at me. And it's all my fault. Uh -huh. I said, look at me. I am Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer, the Slayer of the Cyclops, the Seeker of the Flame. I will see us through this. Don't you ever doubt me. It's not Harry Potter. Which one is it? I, I heard it was a fan fiction, but I might have just been like... a. It might just be something people say, I don't know. That isn't actually true. Fifty Shades? Oh, it's just a van- Is it- It really? Wait, Fifty Shades is a fanfic of Twilight? Dude, what is going on? Wait. <laughs> it's a- It's a- It's a fanfic exception. Is fi Fifty Shades a fanfic of Twilight and Twilight is a fanfic of something else? What is going on here? Someone explain this to me. This is a lot of treasure. Uh, can you get out of the way? Can't climb. Get away from me! fish actually what the hell it's all fish <laughs> it's all fish i mean that'd keep you healthy not really if, if it's rotten but it was just a dream okay maybe it's not a fan fiction then it does it, it does have the like the quality of a fan fiction that's why yeah, there's just fish everywhere. It was never gold. Fifty Shave was based off of Twilight. Okay, I see. We've, we've figured it out. From the second engineer to requisitions officer, I know you have your orders and I mean no disrespect. I'm just saying the chief is being unreasonable. He'd let all that food rot in the hold as long as it's accounted for. Anyway... The workers are getting restless, shifts are getting longer, and now they have to make do on less food. I know my men, they're decent, God-fearing folks. Not one thief among them. But when people hear their bellies rumbling, it's easy to put them under over the edge. It was a dream the author had. Okay, I see. She, dre she dreamt of 
Hot vampires? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you do you, I guess. I've never dreamt of a monster in my dreams. It's always just people. Maybe there's some food here. Come on, we have to go. Oh. Oh. Did you hear that? This way. James, run! Oh no, no! <laughs> Jesus. You're okay. Oh God. Run. Back of a frickin' rocket that's being launched. Let me got color back there for a second. Yeah, let the wood is gonna stop the frickin' blast. What? Oh god. Kind of crazy. Oh wait, I gotta follow you. Just run. This is wild, man. I mean, I haven't read a book in a really long time. Oh, uh oh. Ow. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm supposed to go through there. Please don't kill me. Please open that. Thank you. It's like I... I was never really here. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I don't mean to do that, sir. I'm gonna get demonetized. The black our treasure. Black this way. Black Wanderer and the secret of the flame. Uh oh. Don't look. Don't look, it's not what it looks like. Thing here can look it's 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 look away youtube it's just a mannequin it's it's not real and it's also just a video game and even more so it's a story inside a video game of someone writing this story so it's like triple layered not real <laughs> Probably a fan fiction of Twilight, to be honest. <laughs> the killing joke. Step into the light! What? Run. Uh oh, um, is this gonna extend the bridge? Help! 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 Oh, I can walk on nothing? What the fuck? Uh, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Oh boy. I haven't had a video be demonetized for a while now though. And I've played like out oh well I guess the outlast video hasn't gone up yet, so I I, I <laughs> will have to put it to the test, but I played a lot of Outlast Trials and none of those videos got demonetized, which I was pretty impressed by. Cause that is some fucked up shit in that game. Also, they did a new update for Outlast Trials. They added a specifically multiplayer trial, which looks really fun. But that's gotta be... Oh, no! <laughs> Apologize. It had to be done. Black Wanderers of the Secret Flame. 
I was just making a bubble bath. I, I didn't realize it was gonna kill you. I was just warming up the bathtub. Oh god. Uh, there she you is. Think you can survive without me? It just keeps popping in every now and oh hi that's the weirdest door of all time oh thank you this is outlast now they're watching static watch out something's coming oh no oh no you need to keep moving why is everyone offing themselves man Run! Have a choice <clears throat> I kind of want to jump down here this, this is going so I'm going I'm jumping in here can I Nah, chapter three. Okay, cool. And another tape. Body roots. So much money here. This has got to be fish again. You need some food, man. You're making me hungry. You guys got it like instantly a house is built of walls and beams a home is built of fear and dreams uh, That's a lot of knives That's some fucked up decoration right there. Also, what is that my brother in Christ? That is weird Turn that on We don't got we didn't get another one of these probably missed one. We did get more pictures, right? Oh That's a ship on fire That's it. Yeah, the, this one's we so oh that is a is that a freaking tank firing on the ship or is that just like a crane? Oh, no nothing Ding dong Recording Actual flushing physics can't can't believe it. That's a lot of fish. Blub blub. You fish want to swim? Can I actually fill the bathtub. I don't think this is actually working. It's fake water. Anyway. Oh, we found this thing. Okay, so we found one of the core artifacts or something. I don't really know what's going on. There's so much to collect, man. There's another one. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. The cage? What the hell? 
like a broken clock We've got the little toy ship so every chapter you can get something new what is this animal that does not look like a real animal looks like some dinosaur or something We've got all these though look at that the wall of film Build the character Luke within context backgrounds. What brought me here? They're the present rooted in the past. Get ready for a fucked up movie. We got an R we got an arm and another leg. There was life before the ship. A reason for their escape. They didn't dare look back. But their past fueled them for years. They harnessed it without remembering. They transformed fear, anger, and despair into art. The art was called outstanding, haunting, unforgettable. But they did forget. They did their best to forget. And when they weren't looking, their past entangled them, bound them. Their roots suffocated them, pulled them under, away from the air and the light. They had to cut them away. Only then could they be truly free. I'm assuming in these movies they're talking about the stowaways, like the two children that got on the ship. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Here we go, chapter three, bloody roots. Oh, we're jumping down. Whee! What are you doing? Here, listen. But how does it do that? A sea can fit in there. <laughs> it's the spirit of the sea. It captured its strength, its calm, its freedom, so it can live on forever. Isn't it? I've always been told that you hear it like your own blood flow. Like your ears hear your the blood flow of your ears. Is that what the sound is when you put a shell to your ear, or is that just bullshit? You can only hear shell noise if your brain is empty. Damn, man. I guess I'm stupid. This I'm tiny now. I'm playing as a child. That's the slender guy. It's actually the ocean. <laughs> yes, for sure. Kitchen. We got some food. For servants, for tonight we brew a ghoulish concoction, the world's strangest stew. Barley, the cannoneer. He eats a lot, a whole lot. So he is round like a cannonball himself. This one time, he almost shot himself out of a cannon. Playing in the water. Um. Is that a fucking brain? Seasoned by sadness. Burnt from within, ravaged by madness, rotten with sin. All right, poet. I <laughs> got a brain, okay. I'm collecting a body. Uh, are you gonna kill me? gonna take this if you don't mind torn up by conflict ravaged by war flawed on the surface 
warps to its core. Uh, please don't kill me. I just. Ah! No, 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 no. Please let me out. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? The 10 FPS monster. Well, rip that guy. Hollowed by longing, hardened by loss, once slick and polished, has lost all its gloss. That's actually really cool. This is a cool. This is like a cool art piece. This, I want. Why don't we put this, this? This is what we need in like abstract art museums. An art critic could write about that all day, man. That's neat. The Iron Heart. Is that it? There we go. Leg, brain, and a heart. Look at it bubble. Look at it shake. The beast. It's awake. Uh oh. What have I done? Um. Oh, we can go through the door. So I'm so so this. Here it's black and white or like sapia color kind of, I don't know, like a washed out color. And then here it becomes colorful, which is probably their imagination. Cool. Fuck. Look, Jimmy, father's screening the black wanderer. Wow. That's a big monster right there. Cthulhu. Movie's almost over. Time to go. That's just literally the same three shots every time. Oh, it was a Wizard of Oz reference. Never watched it. I'm uncultured. Can I please crouch. Ooh, what the hell? I've been getting complaints about noises in the balcony. People are scared the damn thing is gonna fall on their bloody heads. I told you to keep it off limits. Damn thing can barely support its, support its own weight. That's good. Bam. Never read the book either. Dude, I never read any books. That's a gimme. Oh. School makes sure to... Oh. Don't step into the light, or he'll see you. School makes sure that you hate books by forcing you to read them. CPL? Or what does that mean? Uh, in recognition of your distinguished service in documenting the courageous struggle of His Majesty's troops on the Western Front, as well as injuries sustained on the corporal. Injuries sustained on the field of battle. The war office has decided to award you with a silver war badge. May you wear it with pride, knowing that you have fulfilled your duty to king and country. The decoration ceremony will take place on the 5th of January. Sincerely, blah, blah, blah. On behalf of the chief of the Imperial General Staff. What? Who, who was that? That's not to us or like film guy, the film actor. Everything is so warped here. This is super cool. Hi there. I'm gonna open your eyes. A picture. I didn't find any of that in the last chapter. Am I liking the game so far? I am, absolutely. This one is way more visually interesting. I'm, I'm getting, I'm understanding the story less in this one so far. But the thing with these is that in order to get the whole story, you need to get the final parts because they like, they're like doing several storylines at the same time. And then at the end, you get the final information on all of them. 
it is there's a lot in this like it's crazy it's like it's it's a i mean it's like a 12 to 16 hour game if you do everything which is quite a lot considering just how much there is in every like few minutes you're going through such insane scenery delilah the top man the top man top woman she likes boys a lot and girls too she's very friendly maybe a bit too much we we stand happy pride uh what the fuck was that oh make it a monster oh, scum you were always bad luck a blight upon this family i give everything and what do i get in return a little gratitude a little heart oh is that too much to ask the fuck what is happening A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve, that's all I need. Excuse me. Dude, you're gonna get washed with those cards unless there's a flush. A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve, that's all I need. Oh. What the hell was that, man? That was cool, but... <laughs> I told you to hide it. I told you to keep it safe. Um. How could you let him take it? It's all we have left of her. You have to find it. You have to take it back. Okay, this is really cool. And now we give him. Now we give the other guy the ace to make him win. Little scum. You were always bad luck. A blight upon this family. Or do I give you another? Oh, you got three aces. A blackened heart. Uprooted by tragedy. Skewered by pain. That's all you've ever given me. That's all you were ever good for. Wow. Thank you, I guess. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take this now. Do I need to keep it? I put it on... No, the, I, I, you, I got it from you. Okay. Um... What do I have? What, what, what did I get? I got a... Let's put this back. Okay, I don't need to do anything here anymore because they're not even talking. We gotta do something with you, or is this just it? I told you to hide it. I told you to keep it safe. Oh, here. How could you let him take it? It's all we have left of her. Keep her close to your heart. Don't let her be forgotten. Uh huh. She gave everything for you. Prove that it was worth it. That you weren't a mistake. Excuse me? <laughs> Oxic. Oh. Weak, useless, no good to anyone. It's like I was never there. It would have been better if I was never there. Dang. That's so sad. No. Crazy film. I'm like three people in the theater watching this movie. Basement. Let's go. Father will be leaving the projection room soon. Father? 
Are these not the same people? This is a crate. This is like feels like it's a whole new game almost. I mean, obviously it's still on the ship, but it's so different. And I got the basement key. Monster. All right, wait, that's not it. This one. Show yourself, ye one-eyed freak. I'll make ye wish ye had a spare. My hero. Okay, dude. <laughs> my beloved husband. As to my prospects, the doctor remains cautiously optimistic. His concern is that the difficulties I had giving birth to Lily might now lead to certain complications. Still, he believes that I am more than able to bring another child into the world. And with you by my side, I believe so as well. I admit the pains have been getting stronger as of late, but I dare not complain. Compared to what you've been through, my suffering is barely worth mentioning. Forever yours, blank. Okay, so this is the two stowaways. Because Lily was one of the stowaways. We don't know the other's name. Well, that's basement. I think. There's an X in there. I'm so tiny. When the world becomes too cruel. It was James. It was James. Hide. Yeah. Oh. The dark can be many things. Or James. Yeah. James. What the fuck am I doing? New refuge. Okay then. Oh, it can be hell. It is whatever you make it. The dark can be a silent place. Please. Rotate. Silence can be empty. It's really cool. Or it can speak volumes. It is whatever you make it. Yeah, maybe the mom died. The dark can be a lonely place. Solitude can be a sentence. Solitude can be a sentence. Or it can be salvation. Oh boy. comments sometimes it's better to hide to let the dark in father's coming quick get in no please i said get in Don't hurt the child. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I have to choose. Choose your own head. This land is a wonder to be sure, 
But how will I ever get home? Home? Now, why'd you want to go to such an awful place? <laughs> Gotta put on something? I can't? This <laughs> is just sitting, just standing there? Okay. <laughs> It's already started. That's a big freaking <laughs> Hydra. What the hell? Come on. He'll get mad if we're not back before him. The child room. So, this is obviously the past, right? Because we're not stowaways here. We're just like kids on the. Like our our dad is. Uh, an employee on the plane. Why am I crouching? Because even though we're a child, you still have to crouch to get through vents. My beloved husband. It's just with trembling. Wait. It is with trembling hands that I write this letter. Words cannot express how overjoyed I am to finally hear from you. When I had heard of what happened, my heart sank. It was as if a terrible shadow had eclipsed my life. But now that I know that you're still with us, I feel that shadow has lifted. As much as it pains me to hear me to hear of your injuries, I pray that you find solace in the fact that you'll be here to witness the birth of our second child, forever yours. Uh-oh. The second, the, I mean, prediction right now is that the mom dies in childbirth. Really right about their past. Which will probably happen. Bad times. This is why you come in. Where I come in? What if I don't come in? What if I just hide underneath the desk the whole time? This is one crazy. Oh my god. Excuse me. Chill, Go brother. On, pick it up. Gun time. <clears throat> it seems the tables have turned, Quartermaster. Curse you and your mutinous puppets. I will not make this easy for you. What the if I am to meet my doom today, it will be by your hand, by your action. Excuse me. No, I am going to. I'm going to defy. Play your part, villain. Yes. Too late to build your character, boy. You wanted to be like me. Shoot. But the demon wants me to do this, though. That's a wait. What do we do? I don't want to say. I don't want to be. Your part, villain. I'm waiting. I don't want to shoot her. Do not give in. Why did the demon wants me to not give in, though? I'm confused. I'm so confused. I want to not. <laughs> okay, I'm just. Is the demon reverse psychologying me? Is Play that your part, villain? I'm waiting. No, I'm not doing it. Do not give in. Bye. <laughs> What are we to you? Mere playthings? Play your part. I'm so confused. Other way. You thought you could be me? You will always be just a scared little boy. Hey! But <laughs> she jumped off anyway! What the fuck? I'm so confused. Did she die? What the fuck, lady? Uh, can you not die, please? Um, uh oh. Lily, are you alright? Lily, Lily! <gasps> oh. Lily, I thought you were gone. That's because I was. Well, she is. What? Who I was a moment ago. It's no more. 
Now, I can become someone else. Every D&D &D player, when their character dies and they try to sniff through the copium. I have never played D&D, &D, but I know that's how it works. <laughs> Don't call me out like that. No one understands them. No one will understand you. Uh, that is... That's a big sea monster. Watch. This is the best part. <laughs> this is the best part where everyone dies. Come. We can't stay any longer. Ow, that's my face. And coincidentally, a new party member just right there. <laughs> I just happened to have a vendetta against whoever killed my previous one. <laughs> I know. Henceforth, I shall be Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer. But Captain Baines isn't a girl. Steady your tongue, Quartermaster. I can be whoever I choose to be. If your little mind says otherwise, then to the depths with it. Hey, let's go. Although she's also kind of rude to James sometimes, but... Oh. Hey, how old is James? James seems like literally like four or something. Well, not four, but extremely young, like five or six. We have multiple ways. Not this way, though. Uh, you're leading, leading me astray. Wait, what have we got? We got the office. Office is probably going to be upstairs, right? Mida. Me. Mi Midas, the helmsman, he loves gold above all else. He can smell it half a world away, but he always steers the ship towards treasure. That's a creepy picture painting. Nice. Oh. Uh-huh. What's that? Part of a ship? To put that on here maybe another part i'm building a ship wait, wait Bill, am i building a rocket put that back so does not work oh there it is yes i am building a rock oh here we go rocket time I need another one? That's not enough for you? On the other side, maybe? Excuse me. Hold the button. Doesn't do anything. Oh, I need to put in the... There you go. Boop. Was always there. What? Hey, and just stare. She's silent, <laughs> smiling sadly, no. like a warm shadow. Always there, but never really present. Sometimes, when darkness fell across town, he'd sneak out of the house. He'd look up into the night sky. Watching the stars, but never really seeing them. What he really saw was a thousand souls on fire. His eyes would light up. The stars were already there. At that moment, I knew he had it in him to make a thousand hearts bleed. What the fuck a is this? This is crazy, dude. A thousand eyes weep. 
My brother. The silent dreamer. No! What the fuck am I supposed to do? Dreaming oh. that a day would come when we could leave it all behind. The journey of a lifetime. Oh my god. A light on the horizon. A flame to cool his own. Yes, he had it in him. To make a thousand souls burn. Make them feel alive. Make them live forever. A thousand lives. Wait a minute, what if this but is never us? Mind. Never mind. What if they're talking about an acting career? There we were. Dreaming of What if this is us from the past? Into the night sky. When we could almost reach out and take And that's why we don't like ships! A cool shade eclipsed the sun. It makes so much Our sense. Dream was gone. Something else took its place. Oh my god. Something vicious. Something. Damn, that was crazy. <laughs> Game is so fucking cool. Like I've never played anything like this, man. It's so cool. <laughs> like this is by far my favorite chapter, obviously. Like this is this whole sequence has been incredible. It reminds me of kind of like what remains of Edith Finch, but like horror horror version of it. So okay, what I think is going on here is we are james the character we played as in the first chapters the movie actor is james from the future and we're like that's why we don't like ships because we were on the ship and there's like two parts going on there's one part where it's like uh, this part right here is what happens at the very beginning this is why i was saying it's kind of me it's kind of pointless to really think you understand the story until you reach the final few chapters. No. Oh. What will the Black Wanderer do now? Because it's going to be like, because you get vital information later on. So it seems like this is the first chapter and we're, we're James and Lily is our sister and our parents work on the ship and we are like a little mischievous. So we go around the ship, like being in places we're not supposed to be. And Lily is probably gonna... There's gonna be something bad that happens. Probably our mom died in childbirth or Lily perishes. There's gonna be one, some big reason soon why we really dislike ships. And then as an actor, we are sent to the ship and we like relive that experience. That's why in the first couple chapters, we were getting visions from these two kids because we lived through it rather than it being some like psycho... Psycho, psychological worry, delusion. One day we'll get to see how it ends. And and that like it clicked with me during the sequence because like the th making a thousand souls burn and like having a big impact on people as like an actor because an actor gets to show something to a lot of people, right? No. Oh. Oh, I skipped it. I didn't get to hear the singing. Feels bad. Metroid for life. Thank you for the 16. Maybe an accident. And it also explains why they had such a knack for acting because Lily was so into acting and the whole pirate ship stuff. The Mr. and Mrs. Abram, a daughter at St. Bartholomew's Hospital Saturday, February 3rd at 11.30 p.m. The Mr. and Mrs. Hopkins, a son at St. Thomas, St. Thomas's Hospital on February the 4th. The Mr. and Mrs. Burns. Who are we? Oh, no, deaths. Wait, what? Oh, no! The Mr. and Mrs. Burns, a son at St. Bartholomew's Hospital Sunday 4th at 2 a.m. Deaths, burns, 
entered into rest Sunday 4th at 2 a.m. Beloved wife, mother of two, funeral Wednesday, February 7th at 2.30 p.m. West Ham Cemetery. That is, that is very dark. I think it's only, yeah, damn, burns. No. What the heck, man? Okay, all these are blocked off. So, no, 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 not three days after the birth. The birth was at the exact same time. Here, Mr. and Mrs. Burns at 2, 2 a.m. And the exact same time, but the, 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 the funeral was at 7, or on the 7th. Dang it. It already came from there. Oh, this way. And that explains. Whoa. If you want to make it to the end, just remember, the monster can be scary, but it's sad too, because at the end of the day, it's just as lost as we are. I can't move it. Can't move the ball. Hi. And this. Oh, excuse me. What the fuck? Am I digging? Or am I just not- do I not have the item I need here? I probably don't have the item I need. Unless I gotta click many, many times. And leave? I can't leave. I'm stuck. Guess I gotta keep digging. Oh, it's growing. What is happening? <laughs> what am I doing? Um. The fuck? Turn on the water. Gotta turn the fan off as well. Yeah. I just gotta wait for it to grow. Are you not happy? Oh, you need water. You need one of the water. That one. Yes. Wow. Uh oh. Evil hand, evil claw. What's causing it? This thing? Happy? Oh, you need water. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? That was incredible. Oh, I hope it still keeps going, but holy shit. What a sequence, man. We can go here now. Is there more story bits though? Oh, here we go. Dear sir. In regards to the recent inspection carried out on your premises and on behalf of the county council, I hereby oblige you to introduce necessary. Oh no, it's also burning again. Are you kidding me? I hereby oblige you to introduce necessary fire safety and prevention measures, i.e. ensure the theater equipment is compliant with the schedule of fire resisting materials. 
Ensure that the theater infrastructure facilitates escape in the event of a fire. You have 30 days to comply. Regards, blank. His Majesty's Inspector of Constabulary and Fire Services. Just got this. 30 days to have burgers stall them. Stall them. Okay. So this explains why we were so obsessed with music or movies. Not only was our like sister very into movies, but also I'm just going off of the fact that I assume James is the character we played as. I think it's a pretty solid guess. I mean, at least James. It assumes what it explains because also their father was uh, a theater owner. Stop! Look, it's her. What? Who? She's the one, Mr. Hardy. She's the one that would take us there. The ship. I want to check around to see if there's any more. Oh. Any more lore bits? Because this this is fascinating. Anything? Or do I gotta? I I probably just gotta go through. All right. I don't think. I hope there's not going to be something with burning. It doesn't seem like it. I think the fire thing is just going to mean that the theater is going to close. So it's just going to lead to a downfall in, in their life. Because obviously if their father's not going to have a job, they're going to be in trouble. Lucia, the first mate. She won't have no one disrespect the crew or the captain. Because she is very proud. So proud. Oh, I, oh by the way, I just realized. I've been reading the... But there's two different handwritings here, right? So, I'm assuming the more good handwriting is going to be Lily and the, the ugly handwriting is going to be James, maybe? So, Lucio, the first mate, is written by James, maybe? Let's see. Oh. A little spark is all it takes. To set a human soul aflame. You already set that. Pretty poetic, I gotta say. No, please. Uh oh. No abuse of father in this one, please. We already went through that in Layers of Fear 1. <laughs> Stay out of it, Lily. No! <laughs> Not why again. Can't, why can't you just, just leave us alone? Uh oh. Not again. What the fuck is this? Oh, is this? Classic. All right, open the corner here. Oh boy. I see. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, that one. There. What the fuck is this artifact? Strange sound. Okay. I'm assuming that that is just prohibiting them from going into certain places. I, I hope that's what's going on here and nothing too more disturbing. Oh, Blade, thank you for the four. We'll see. There's parts of the thing. You filled the boy's head with nonsense. As if he wasn't useless enough. What the hell, dude? What is wrong with you? I, okay. So my prediction here is to, to make any sense of this. I'm assuming that the dad lost their job. And that's why he turned into this. Because, I mean, I guess we haven't heard of him until now, so... <laughs> He might have just been a piece of shit this whole time. That's just you're, a... you're the one who's useless, you cruel one-eyed freak. What did you call Get me? Get away from him, you you monster. Lily standing up for James. Let's go. Oh god. Or did Dad was a soldier? He got injured in the war. 
Yeah, I don't understand why so often in the trope of like uh, a child like being born and then the mother dying in childbirth and then the, the parent blaming their child for that is so common in movies and video games. I can't imagine that's actually the case in real life, right? I, I would, I hope not. I mean, probably in some cases, but like, how would you blame your child for that? They're just like, they're just a little baby. Like, what are they gonna do? Like, how could you possibly blame your child for that? If, unless you're some like complete delusional idiot. Oh boy. No, Jesus Christ, I thought that at that point. I thought I was hiding, but I guess not. Whew. Yeah, there is something with like how oh here how certain um mothers have like post mm, what is it called post natal depression or something like that which can even be like a psychosis or something i'm running ah postpartum that's what it's called okay Go, go, go. This, this is crazy. We're now playing as a taller character again, by the way. So we're playing as Lily now? Maybe. Oh god, just run. No, I can't run. I'm hiding in the light. You can't get me. You can't get me. Uh -oh. uh, humans are complex creatures. Kind of like Disneyland attraction or something. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, I have nowhere to hide. I don't know where I'm going. further I'm just gonna hide here oh oh god it's going back and forth oh oh boy but this is their father like the one-eyed freak Yeah, there might be PTSD involved as well. Oh uh, boy. Father, it's today. Oh no. That's so to fucked sleep. up. Take care of the house while I'm gone. By the way. Anything for James? Yeah, I was just about to his day too. <laughs> oh no. I had to buy something for your mother. That's all I could afford. Is it the day of your mom's death is always going to be your birthday as well? That's so fucked. That's actually like severely depressing. Ark Jen, thank you for the nine. What the hell, man? That fun. Yeah, those. You, if you don't like a birthday party, if you're James, uh. I can more than understand just you. Like him. Am I? Yeah, that would, that would, that sucks. That just sucks. There's just no, no two ways about it. 
And we got another... What the hell? <laughs> There's nothing left for us here. It hurts. It hurts. It's their father. He only has one eye. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, I assumed that already, but you can now we know it for sure. Hurts. Okay, it so I'm assuming he got hospitalized hurts. and then they walked out or something. It is it over? No, Mr. Hardy. It's only just beginning. Ideal body to survive a car crash. I do. I also remember that video. <laughs> oh, and it looks exactly like that. <laughs> That's not the time. My spirits, as in a dream, are all bound up. My father's loss, the weakness which I feel. Don't make me Google that. <laughs> I mean, if you want to see what it looks like, you got to Google it. Okay. Oh, uh, this is it. This is the end of the chapter. Man, that was... Breathe. Fucking crazy. Oh boy. Writer. Oh, here we go. The writer story. We're back in the lighthouse. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Back. Did this place torment you too? Pests? Why? Delusional? Metaphor? What if they were there? I see. Also, you're way louder than the children were, so I'm going to turn you down slightly. So we, we were writing this story, by the way. A disturbing occurrence happened during a public reading, and the author acted strange from the start, but what happened after a particular reader's question... Uh, whoops. The Cyclops King is the dead. It's still loud. I came back. After a decade of glory and shame, I came back. I don't know how the fuck they knew I did, but I don't care. I will get my son back, or I will hurt them. I can write without her. I know I can. And this is... This must be the thing that hurts her, destroys her. Okay, so they, the people that are sending her to this lighthouse keep their keep are keeping her son captive. Like I don't really understand that part of the story. That seems so unhinged. Oh God. Um, it's the start of Bioshock. Light symbolism, electric, fire, warmth, destruction, safety. Key for painting. Did it help him? That, that must be a bad idea to look in there. Can I get in? Come on, you got. Oh, yes. Hush. We will survive this. I'll take care of you. Both of you. We are the rats. We can now go up the lighthouse because that was blocked off before. Oh, oh, what the heck? Don't cry. 
his, hers, influence on psyche and art. Call and ask. No, no, this is one thing I won't do. See. Okay, so her husband was a World War II survivor. Is that what's going on? Is that what you, because that seems what you guys think. Oh, there was someone standing there. Did you see that shadow? I only noticed it when it was gone. I love how they are, tr how they, like, this is the ultimate remaster. It, like, they, they get to finally tell the story that I've wanted to tell from the very beginning. Where all these stories are tied together into this, like, overarching plot. That is, oh god, that's very cool. Uh, I need that phone. Gonna be her again. What the hell are you doing here? The beginning. They used their daughter to fulfill their needs and ambitions. No wonder she grew up to be a woman she was. To be a woman she was. Protagonist equals one of the siblings. Wait. Up to interpretation, which one? Of course I can pull it off. Director is pro James. Wait, we we, we have confirmation. It is <laughs> it is the sibling. It's up to interpretation which one though. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought it was James for sure. Okay. Uh, do you, this is not a note you can click on and read. You have to like actually pay attention. There you go. So we were right about that. We were right about. Oh hi. That's so cool. <laughs> that was such a what the hell. That was well done. <laughs> Good. Can I flush the toilet, by the way? I've seen people flush the toilet. Is it broken? It's broken. I can't flush it. So sharp after all this time. We'll do that. Oh. The fuck? You're going a little cuckoo. Alright, we're going in the door. Have we checked everything? I think we have. That is creepy. The baby face for a second there. Did you see that? From the first game. Hi, Mama. What? How? It's been a while, so just wanted to check on you. I. I'm glad you're writing again. You are? Of course. I know you. It's always been the most important thing in your life. That's... I should probably leave you to it. It's been great hearing from you. Wait, don't... Bye. Don't go. That does not feel real. It felt like... Like a nightmare. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, uh, the mask from the actor? Uh, no, thank you. Did you think your art would make you immortal? It's unwatchable now. <laughs> hi. That's pretty cursed. <laughs> We're in the first game again. 
What? Are we now gonna go- Wait, are we gonna go through some- What? I don't even know what the fuck. Oh, God. Damn. This is crazy. All you can do is cut corners and shock. This is Daniel talking. And now we're on the ship. Wow. You think yourself an artist? We're underwater. Them, watching him spit blood. They were proud of themselves. <laughs> You're mine. Um, no, no, no. Okay. You have nothing to say. All right. <laughs> Blue, thank you for the sub. It's like the bo both both stories merging together now. <clears throat> Quite literally here, the mannequins from this story merging with the paintings from the first one. And the music as well. I, don't, I can't pick this up. I can't pick it up, but it is blinking. I guess I forgot that when I was here in the in the main game. Oh, baby. The ship is underwater. That is so cool. No voice, no characters, no talent. That <laughs> painting is insane. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's a shot right there. Oh, baby. Am I going in circles? Oh. <laughs> Hit it. Dude. I love this shot here. All right, I, I literally just took it, but I got to take it. All your words are empty. Underneath there is only your ego. I made you. Oh, stop with the... Oh, the hallway! <laughs> the prettiest hallway from the first game is back. <laughs> This is like together with that children's sequence, like the best part of the game for sure. This is wild, man. You gave your word. You will keep it. The one question I have, though, with the entire franchise is 
Couldn't they have made this picture slightly less like, I guess it's supposed to look like a rat, right? It's like a rat demon. I don't know. This picture is just kind of weird. <laughs> it doesn't see, it's just like, it just looks, it's just disturbing, I guess. <laughs> it's just a little goofy as well, though. I can't even take a screenshot right now. Oh, why did it take them after? Oh boy. I will finish it. Oh. Last exhibit. Recreation of exhibit opening with piano. At home. Aruberus. Did she just say Aruberus? <laughs> Excuse me. I've never heard someone exp ex or pronounce the word Ouroboros that way. <laughs> Last exhibit. Recreation of exhibit opening with piano at home. Ouroboros. <laughs> uh, oh. After all these years. They still listen to you. What is this? It was like a slender page on the wall there for like a frame. Oh, hi, Reds. I got an achievement called Go Through the Hypnotic Maze. A <laughs> heavy burden. This is the, the same thing? thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really like this. <laughs> Little details. Outside. Oh, <laughs> you dick. Oh. <laughs> After a decade of glory and shame, I came back. I don't know how the fuck they knew I did, but okay, I don't weird. care. I will get my son back, or I will hurt them. I can write without her. I know I can. And this is... This must be the thing that hurts her, destroys her. I don't know if we can do that, though. It seems like we're a little too in too deep. Avatar, thank you for the three. All right, well, here continues the writing. I have to finish it. You have to finish it. The, the slender page said the rat queen was here. <laughs> oh, oh, well, this place is a little cursed now. This is one awesome room, though, I gotta say. What's going on? I've been told that you didn't show up on set. It's like you vanished into thin air. The director seemed pleased, though. For whatever reason, don't know what to make of it. Hope you're all right, your friend and agent. Look, we have to give her the 18. That's the children. It's Lily and James. And that's the father with the eye. <laughs> Missing eye. Character, go all the way. Let your heart bleed. Such fucked up thing. Got another one, right? Yeah. Tell me, James. Do you like sitting here in the park? I... I don't know. You don't know? I... I think I do. Out here, I could be anyone. Truly? You could be anyone you want. I... I think I don't need to be. It definitely feels like it's not up to interpretation which of the children is the character you play as. So I'm pretty sure it, it seems very clear it's James because James is like, I don't know. But we'll see. Oh, the uh, toilet is 
<laughs> this doesn't look like Lily even alive. I don't know. Recording. Oh God. You run, but do you know the way? You build one character, you destroy the other. There's no other way. Holy fuck. You follow reason, you see through it. You cut away the strings. Hesitate. You look for a better way. Nothing is ever easy. What the fuck? That was cool. So that was uh, the choices we made up till now. We had a. I mean, they didn't make it very clear what the choices did, but I don't think it's very important that you. It doesn't strike me like a game where making the perfect choices is very important. You're just kind of exploring what happens. Okay, so here you can replay your 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 stories or your your choices. You can keep opening this to see the same thing. But anyway, we're gonna continue. That's the record the film room. I never went there up until now. What was that? What was that? Also, the monster is slowly getting out. <laughs> oh, it was a pirate ship flag? Is that what it was? Alrighty. Here it goes. I don't know how that door just clipped, but... Build the character turning points. Step back, breathe, remember. Moments that changed, one changed one's life. Crossed out. Scars that define them. All right. I don't know. Oh, I need to put it in first. Whoops. Now they knew where they came from. Now they could scream themselves free. One glorious act. And then... A vast silence. Oh boy. Actor story. Chapter 4. Oh boy. Oh, we get to watch the film again. Wait, that's good. Uh, wait, do we? Oh, no, we don't. All right, here we are. We're back. Uh, I took a little break here, but we're back on the next day uh, to finish. I think we have two more chapters left to go. So here we go. Now, this game is absolutely gorgeous. It's just like a movie. It's literally like playing through a really beautiful movie. We are so close, I can feel it. There can be no doubt, no hesitation, only will, unbreakable. That is what we have. That is what we are in the end. Also, I need to turn up the audio because I... Turned it down way too much. There we go. Uh, oh boy. And Das, thank you for the 12 months. I think we're playing as the actor again. Oh, finally. Yeah, because we got this thing again, which is our little flashlight. Um, <laughs> excuse me, did you just get sucked into hell? Um, that does that. It can rewind time. On the mannequins, at least. Oh, another note. From Chief Security Officer to all crew attention. Stowaways on board. Two of them, most likely children, have been sighted in their lower decks near the cargo hold. I call upon any available crew members to be on the lookout for a boy and a girl roaming around the ship unattended. They are to be apprehended on sight. Okay, so we're in trouble, or at least the kids are in trouble, James and Lily, uh, which this is from the past. This is not from... So we're playing as the actor right now, and this we're basically finding notes that are about what we did in the past because we're also we're james but we're older Heidi, thank you for the 21 and demonic thank you for the 20 and line up with the eight thank you guys what the hell what's this something is clipping through clipping through the wall over there that looks weird oh can i rewind this what's going on here there's no exit i guess this was just a little story bit 
No? Where do we gotta go? Can we climb out? We got a cook. Oh, there you go. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I see what happened there. There was I swear there was no door there a second ago. It wasn't it just a wall? Am I crazy? I feel like I'm being gaslit by the video game. Oh, th what the fuck is going on with this? <laughs> Excuse me. This glitching. They're fucking with me. Are you not afraid of death? Some people believe in nothing. And so they live for nothing. To live without belief is more terrible than dying. Oh boy. We're caught. What? <laughs> That's very trippy. I love it. What the fuck? Okay, I see. That's how. Ah! That was very unexpected and it made me lose like fuck. Stop this madness, please. What the fuck is going on? There you go. Jesus Christ. Can I turn up the game volume again? All right, I will just max it out. It's, it's almost. Oh, wait, it's not maxed. There we go. Pretty loud for me, but I guess I can turn my own volume down. Sathe. Wait, this is maxed out, right? Yeah, yeah. Basically, I'll turn it down slightly from the max. Otherwise, we're gonna die. Wait, wait. Was it maxed out? Yeah. Boom. That's my final offer. Oh, turn my volume down? Oh, I thought you meant turn it up. Oh. I'll turn these fans down. I think it's just my computer going crazy. If, if that's what you're hearing, if it's still there, then I guess it's just my computer. And then the game runs like crazy. Um, Cause it's obviously very graphically intensive. Lily, Captain, I found it, but it's empty. It's all gone. Steady yourself, Quartermaster. Return to the hideout. I'll keep searching on my own. I can help. I, I said go. Okay, so now we're back to... We're back to the first few chapters where there were... Where we're playing as the actor, and while we're going through our experience, we're also experiencing the, um, the story of the kids. Okay, so this is familiar with what we did in the past. Do we know what happened to the sister? We still you don't know. Them. Both have no future without me. That's the demon. The demon who's possessing us. What the hell is this thing? Cage? Um. What is this noise? Excuse me. Is that a person? I think it was just a... Debris. I want to check this. Can I open this? Oh, I can't even go here. Go on. Be there for her. Like she was for you. Excuse me? Is James talking to me directly? Or is this like my internal monologue? Is that what's going on? Bunch of oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, you talked to me just now. So that's James. That's me. That's the kid. Oh, boy. He's making this noise, man. Broken radio. Please turn that off. Nice. I don't we got didn't get much of those tapes, but it seems like those are like therapy sessions with James or something Uh, that was definitely a person. Did we? Oh, no. Oh, no. You know what this is gonna lead up to? I'm telling you Um, We're gonna go up and up and up and up and then they're gonna be chased Lily and James and then Lily is gonna have an accident while they're like being apprehended or something. I feel like that's what's gonna happen here Because there still has to be some super tragic occurrence that happens to like warrant all the trauma they have I hope I'm wrong, but oh boy Ah, uh, Excuse me. What the hell is going on? This is weird <laughs> This is very strange What 
This is making me dizzy. This is not how gravity works. Pretty cool though. Oh, goodbye. What? Oh my god. <laughs> The monster was right by me. Cowards die many times before their deaths. Good God, man. I was not ready for that. <laughs> okay, run. Uh. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, no. Whoops. You heard Lily scream. That's not good. That's very bad. Father arms again with a 20. Thank you. Ooh, baby. Why are you guys looking at me so judgmental? Lose the character. Find yourself. Find the character. Lose yourself. Some parts are not to be played. Some parts. Damn. Hey, Jasmine, what's up? What? Oh, I thought he was going to play something. Uh huh. In it. You spin my head right round. From captain to all passengers, it has been brought to my attention that we have unauthorized passengers on board. The crew are currently searching for two children, a boy and a girl. Passengers are not asked are asked not to leave their cabins for the duration of the search. We apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, so they're going to be found, obviously, if the whole ship is looking for them. What do they seek? What do you seek? Yourself? Themselves? Why? There is only me. What the hell? The red light district? Um. It's black and white, huh? my words and my deeds. Run! What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. You coming? Get out of the way! Oh, no. Oh, there he is. Dude, this guy is terrifying. He's so much more scary than the lady from Paint Layers of Fear 1. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, Bluebird team is making the Silent Hill remaster, right? This is, if this is going to be the quality of that one, I can't wait. It's going to be crazy. Cap Rider, thank you for the two and Sagri wins. Thank you for the three. Oh, oh, I'm flying. What the heck? <laughs> okay. What? This is amazing, but like, what the hell? Red? <laughs> Red? Excuse me? <laughs> Good God, man. Red equals scary, you know it. Oh, I regret my words. 
to my deeds. I made a door. Did I? Can you stop? Just chill. She heard there were children hiding on board and was convinced a crew would never find them. You know how she was, the old hag. There must be order and all that. They will trust a woman, she said. We can't have stowaways on the ship. This is preposterous. I smiled and nodded, as always. So one night she went to look for them and never came back? Alright, don't cry. Oh, no, thank you. The symbolism in this game, like, if you were to analyze, like, I feel like, like, there's a lot of stuff that's just crazy, but there's so many things that have, like, uh, meaning behind them in this game. Like, too much to notice. Like, there, there are things oh. that should not be. Should not be broken. Should not be broken. We suspect that Mrs. Blah Blah, despite the crew's warning and captain's order, decided to go out to the deck during a windy night and fell overboard by accident. Uh oh. Rip that lady. Oh, red means scary. You know how it goes. I have a choice here to... I don't want to turn off the television. There. That was a lot of flashing lights indeed. I hope you guys are okay. Pascal, thank you for the 28. Uh-oh. That's blood. That's blood? What the hell? This is just going off the rails, man. Don't look at it. Don't look at it, YouTube. It's not what it looks like. It's fake. It isn't real. Oh. I'm stuck. Oh, God. Why am I always the one? Why weren't you there? Why didn't you protect me? Oh no. Why did you let this monster? Excuse me, who are you talking to? Useless! Worthless! I hate you! <laughs> Don't tell me you're talking to James. James doesn't deserve any of this. Oh boy. Uh, no, please, no! God, man. Oh, ah. Uh. Wow. <laughs> These are some powerful, powerful sections, huh? Hi. Are you okay? What happened here? Oh. <laughs> 
Are they being captured? Or captured in a net? Is this symbolism for the children being captured? And they're like pretending it's their whole crew getting captured, I guess. Um, oh. I am still here. This is not the end. This pain will pass. I can't look away. The scars will fade. can't look away, but can I? Like if you are persistent enough? Sorry for the flashing by the way. Okay, I think I have to move forward. Can I though? Oh, I gotta crouch. Wait, no? Um, please, people, can we chill? What am I supposed to do? Do I just walk backwards? Ah. Pretty cool. Go oh, blue, thank you for the 18. Uh, that's a lot of paint, blood, blood paint, blade, blood. Look at her. <sighs> She's got her whole life ahead of her. Will it be kids years? Are really? Or just minutes. You're insane! I'm having a, a conversation you cannot hear. Oh. Um. Bunker? Thank you. Mrs. Blank's body was found by the quartermaster. Blank, blank. It was discreetly thrown overboard? Monsters, if the captain wants to find them, he can look himself. Wait, okay. I'm guessing this is the lady who went out during the night or during the, like when they were doing the search to look for the children. That lady's body was thrown overboard because she died? What? Bodies was found by the quartermaster. Monsters, if the captain wants to find them, he can look himself. So the kids murdered the lady? Is that what happened? Why did the, how? How did they kill her? Did they push her down or something? Maybe she's the one that fell. Yeah, maybe. It wasn't Lily, it was just her. What the light? Oh, that's cool. Made a lighthouse. <laughs> oh. Can I look in the light or is that dangerous? There's one. It's closed. Are you shining your light on something? 
Oh, hi. Jesus Christ, that's a big face. They're all looking at me. Why did you let this monster? What the heck, man? I hate you. Davis. Everything has fallen. Okay, I guess I'm climbing up. So, who would... Maybe she's talking to James because James didn't kill the lady or something? Like, maybe James was talking to the kid? Or it's a, maybe James was talking to the lady? And, like, trusting her or something? There's so many people... They're just blindly walking up. Oh, boy. It's time for us to fall. going just crazy <laughs> we're getting our korok guys let's go <laughs> gotta put them all uh oh yeah <laughs> so we're in a lighthouse now It's, so there's three different there's three different filters right there's the black and white there's the color and there's the like can i get it back there's this filter i don't know what you would call this like old film reel sapia what the fuck Why are you pointing with a knife It's getting a little fleshy in here. This is the squishy room. We finally found it. We were meant to live forever. And I will. I will be forever. Did you just stab someone? Lily. I will be. I will. Lily is going crazy. <laughs> Can't kill people, Lily. That was really cool, though. <laughs> Recording. Uh, it's the hallway from Shining. What if I do fight it? I can't come! I can't go that way? Yes. Nope. Stay away. Fuck is that? I don't. What if I go this way? I can't. Oh. I don't wanna. I don't wanna listen to the monster. Oh no! I'm gonna go against the monster. I am. You will never be conquered. You will never 
never be tamed. Oh my god, the flash. I'm sorry, guys. Away. And still you choose to go deeper. You cannot have it. You can never have it. We are making choices. Oh, we're back in the in the kids area, but we're an adult now. Because we're tall. Lily, please come back. I need you. <laughs> what happened? Oh no, did she get... So did she kill the lady? Uh, hello? Oh. My, my name is James. What's yours? Oh, he's talking to his demons. He's He's gone off the rails. I'm, I don't think he's talking to a real person. I don't think I don't think he killed her. Why would Wait that be a thing? That doesn't make any sad sense. Time we must obey. Speak what we feel, not what we ought to say. King Ling. I'm not in. We we just need more information. I I like. It's pretty confusing, for sure. But I do like the way they they are revealing the information like they, they constantly have little bits of like oh revelations They're like they don't just drop everything at once and then you're playing the rest of the game knowing exactly what's going to happen because i kind of did feel like that was the case with the first game in the first game like when you, if you start if you paid a little attention in the first half of the game you basically understood the whole story whereas here it's definitely not that way Get out of my face. <laughs> That's a funny name. Can you help me find my sister? Oh no, James is going off the deep end. Stranger danger. <clears throat> oh, he's gonna get shot. 866. But is there anything else I can pick up? Eight. How do I? Oh, what? Move the mouse left and right to choose, and move the mouse up or down. What a weird way. Uh, eight. Six. Six. Yes. Oh God. Oh, that guy got fucked. <laughs> Rip. Found a strange artifact. Going in here. So now it's just James. Lily got either captured or I don't think Lily got killed. I think Lily just got. My theory is that Lily for some reason killed the lady and then she got caught by the actual people looking for her. Or the the crew, but I'm not exactly sure. Why is this rat blinking? Yeah, but why would she do that? We have no idea. What the fuck is that rat? Um. Am I pushing his head in? I can't pull it up. Oh, there. I was drowning in a sea of thirst. I was feasting, but never full. You, 
My teeth are yours to bear. Okay, then. That other rat being eaten now? Wait, where did the other rat even go? It opened this door. Yeah, the rats has been a theme throughout. The rats has been their, like, motif for corruption, I think. Like, insanity. Like, rats are what make people go insane. She's been gone a long time. I'm scared something happened to her. Yes. Uh, what the frick? Is that a rat? Oh, it is. Money? Ah, uh, this is crazy. Can I go this way? Or cut? Um, excuse me? What the hell? There's so many ways to go. This is, I guess I go in here. Hey, llama banana. I let out a rat. Oh, we need a key though. Slender. Oh, I'm taking away your arms. Whoops. Can I open it now? Don't need more body parts for the scale here. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to rip some off of you. Or do I just need to find more televisions? Can I change the channel? Two legs heavy enough? Or do I need something else? A skull, maybe? Oh, yep. <laughs> okay. It's balanced like all things should be. Perfectly balanced. Maybe another one. I've done it. I don't know what I've done, but I've done it. And for... Stripped of all my riches, I sailed the sea of nothingness. Who is talking right now? My debt to you, I will repay. Here is my pound of flesh. Who is this? Sounds like the fucking ladies from Dark Souls 2. Probably equally mysterious. Yeah, the rat's going that way, but I want to go this way. Oh, this... Nice bathroom. Flush the toilet. I can't. Zero out of ten. What the fuck? A lot of death themes going on right now. Wallowing in a sea of shame. I was never one to serve. But for you, I swallow my pride. I am trying to think of what this all means. There's so many paths. What the hell is this wallpaper? Uh, red. The rat talking. I don't think the rats are talking. Is this like the birth? I come from a sea of displeasure. I have longed for affection. Now I live to please you. What? Is this the mother? Maybe? I don't even know. Oh my god. That's a lot of air fresheners. Holy shit. Gonna smell like a... Like a forest in here.
rip that guy. Left adrift in a sea of lethargy. My hands, the devil's playthings. What? I just got an achievement called Save All the Lost Souls. Seven seas. Save all the lost souls. Excuse Put me. them to some use. Okay. The rats are lost souls. Volume's way too low. Your volume is way too low. The volume is way too loud, honestly. Oh, go the wrong way. Oh, I did it. Or something. You're right, it is my fault. Yes, I can still save her. She can live on forever. Show me the way, I'll do what needs to be done. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain. Uh, James is getting possessed, I think. I think James has gone off the deep end, I'm sorry. Funny. Lead us, O oh Captain. We will follow you across the seven seas. Oh no. No, 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 no. Run. No, uh, what the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> that was, excuse me. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Lead us, O oh Captain. We will follow you across the seven seas. Ah! What the hell am I supposed to do? What the frick? Excuse me? Okay. I need to blast them? Do I need to shoot the cannon, maybe? Because the cannon is already. Lead us, oh captain. We will follow you ah. across the seven seas. I see, and then they can't show up in the light. Okay, but I need to shoot this one too, right? Like, can I? That's my cannon! Get out of the way of my cannon! You can't be my cannon! Alright, I gotta follow the light, I guess. Not all the cannons are required. I, I guess Lead I gotta... Us, oh, Captain. We will follow you across the seven seas. I gotta just follow the rat. Can I do this one? Can't get in here. No, no, no. Oh. No, you can't be here. This is my place. Good God, man. Okay. Can I open any of this? Nope. Alrighty. Forever. Dude, that was a crazy chapter. That was definitely my favorite chapter when you play as the actor. Because I thought the actor, like the first two chapters were pretty weak. The third chapter was incredible. The fourth chapter was this one. Which was also really good. And now we still have one more chapter before the ending. That was very cool. What the hell, man? Here we are again. That's... You almost had it. <laughs> Go away. She lied to me. She lied to you? She lied to me. Oh, that's a crazy rat. She lied to me. She lied to me. She lied to me! 
sorry. It was Lily lying? Who's lying? She lied to me. You already said that. Uh, what's in the box? Is Lily's head? Excuse me? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? That was not what I expected. Well, now I understand. <laughs> now I understand why the achievement was called Seven Seas with the Seven as the movie Seven. <laughs> like with the, the seven symbol instead of the V. It all makes sense now. What a brother reference, dude. <laughs> What's in the box? So many movie references. This way. I wonder if that's like just a metaphor for seven or like that. That I don't know how that happened. I'm following. Um. Oh. It's so dark. James. James, don't you Call run. You're gonna get yourself lost or you're gonna fall off of something. Lily? Lily? What if something bad happens? What if I can't find you? Shh. Listen to my voice. Hold it deep inside and I will always be there for you forever oh. oh jesus christ everything is changing um evil rumbling you got it wrong <laughs> The fuck? I just clipped through someone and then I fell off of more. <laughs> I am properly confused. That's the story. Chapter 5. Forever. That's what the chapter is called. What am I doing? I can't move. Can't move. Let me go. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. What the fuck? This is not the cabin I'm used to. This is underwater. This is barnacle-filled bed. That doesn't look comfy at all. Character, character. It won't be me when you see me again. Right, a tragedy of mythic proportions. British cruise ship perishes at sea. Half of the passengers lost. It was Titanic. Nautical experts and laymen alike are shocked to learn that the state-of-the-art cruise liner sunk to the bottom of the Atlantic in the early hours of the morning. The ship's maiden voyage turned out to be its last. Tragedy struck on the fifth night of the voyage when a fire broke out in one of the engine rooms. Despite the attempts of the crew, the flames spread throughout the lower decks, causing a massive explosion in the boiler room that breached the integrity of the hull. While the exact number of casualties is still unknown, latest estimates claim that just over a thousand passengers and crew, approximately half, perished to the fire or was lost the, to the cold depths. Oh no. Did they cause the fire? You are so... Jezebel? Have... Getting... At getting out? Whichever way... Something... Or only as long as choose anything better show that his this place this is not an anagram that's only that's only uh, I don't know what how language terms are in English but there's no e a o in that sentence vowel or in that word I don't think that's gonna form a proper word Hey, at least the toilet's still. Never mind. It doesn't even flush anymore. My life is fucked.
The water doesn't... What happens if you turn a faucet on underwater, huh? This is science. This is what we need to know. Now, what's going to happen if I open this door? You run, but do you know the way? You build one character, you destroy the other. There's no other way. You follow reason, you see through it. You cut away the strengths. Hesitate. You look for a better way. Nothing is ever easy. You struggle against the current. You fight against all odds. <sighs> I think that I think we made some pretty good choices. Because that sounded actually kind of good. Okay, so that's just the, the what I did right there is just revit. You can just review your choices by going through that recording door and it'll tell you like basically the story you've done up till now, like which choices you've made and what that says about your character. I think we've done all right. Have I offended you, James? No, I just... You just don't want to talk to me anymore. I, I don't know what I want. They say that the dreams shine for the dreams. The star. Yeah, really can come true. Are dreams what's really important to you? Mm-hmm. Your dreams can stay with you forever. James is so young. Feels bad, man. He didn't deserve any of this. Yeah, that this uh, it did sound like the. <laughs> have you ever had a dream where you could where you have have you ever where you could do anything? <laughs> it just sounds like that guy. <laughs> oh God. What is that? What was that? It was a shoe? What the fuck? So we have three out of these objects. We have a lot of posters. I, this is just getting ridiculous. We're underwater now. Flame, truth, become, break the cycle here and now. Stay in the loop forever. Who lives? Who dies? Who the fuck am I? Him, her, him, her, him, her, us, me. What the hell? Here we go. We completed it. Now they knew why they feared freedom, why they hid flow with the tide and pretended to be one with the void inside them. Now in place of the void, there was a sea. Restless, roaring, terrifying. Once they saw it, once they lit a flame in their soul, there was no turning back. No other way. Again, they felt the eyes of eternity upon them. They were here before. They faced that choice in the past. They felt the stare. Now, for the first time, they stared back. We're staring, I'm staring. Dude, I love these little movies. They're so epic. <laughs> Here we go, the the fifth chapter, and then it's ending time. We're gonna be underwater now. We're still playing as the actor. Now, so, okay, I see. So the, the previous chapter was about an incident that happened with Lily, where Lily and James got separated. This chapter, I'm just guessing it's going to be all about 
the ship sinking and the disaster that happened with that. I'm assuming this. So how that came to be this place. It feels so familiar, like I've seen it before. And yet I cannot find my way. There has to be a way. Good God, man. That's so fucking cursed. Do you see now? You tried to fix me. Instead, you broke yourself. Lily talking to us. Sweetest to the sweet. Sweets to the sweet. Bitter for the bitter. looking where do i go can i go through this that's just the mirror i think i just go back oh hi there uh you're frozen on you thank you for the three gift subs can't go this way wait a minute i can't go back can i blast you oh you're also frozen in time I'm missing a door here or just gotta keep spinning this. Oh. Bitter for the bitter. this atmosphere like this is <laughs> this is very strange this place it sickens me with all of its clutter and confusion it is a monument to your weakness a portrait of your indecision the wreckage of what never truly was it is broken Hello. Door. Just oh. Like you. Hey. Door after door. All lead to where I came from. All lead to nowhere. Cannot get out. Need to get out. Mask. You tried so hard to bring me back. You called out to me from the void, but something else answered. We tried to, was our acting career a way to make our dreams come true and make Lily come back? Is that what's going on here? All these fucking metronomes are making me go insane. Just fell down. Uh, that's the monster. Please do not come out of this painting. Okay, then. <laughs> Surprising the elevator still works. Yeah, it's really cool. The, the visuals here are crazy. heard like that layers of fear 2 was not as good as layers of fear 1 honestly would say the opposite like this is especially these later chapters maybe the first two chapters were definitely weaker than the average chapter from layers of fear 1 but the last three chapters have been phenomenal and i thought in layers of fear it was the exact opposite the start was better than the end. Oh boy, this painting again. 
You just gotta pay attention. Like, I think if you don't... If you don't respect the game and you pay no attention to its story, which I've definitely done in the past. I've, I've been a culprit of this, but I've recently really loved playing horror games that are actually meaningful, like, or that actually have a cool story to tell. Like, I had a lot of fun replaying Outlast and actually paying attention, and this game has been right up that alley as well. But yeah, if you're just coming in here for a quick horror flick, that's not what you're gonna get. You're, you need to gonna, you're gonna have to use your brain. Doesn't do anything. You probably can get an achievement again here. Body can be rebuilt, but some wounds go deeper. So much deeper. Oh boy. Oh. I'm to keep unless I can. Can I grab this heart? <laughs> no, I gotta keep going. Why are we going sideways, by the way? <laughs> I guess the ship is laying on its side on the ocean floor. Uh, hi. Why are you following me? You are creepy as hell. How long has it been? I don't remember anymore. So hard to remember. I feel myself slipping, growing thin, and it keeps growing. It won't let me go. Yeah, because all the other doors are normal side up. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Just a sideways elevator. Um. Uh, what the fuck? A lot of people panicked, bro. Yeah, people panicked running. Why can't I send you back? Poor little Jimmy. Poor, weak, pathetic little Jimmy. Always the victim. Always hey. the burden. An anchor dragging me down. Playing the second one to play the new one after? No, we're playing the new one. The new one, this is the remastered version of Layers of Fear 2. Uh. Are beating? Oh, this is the engine room. It's gonna go wrong here. It's been so much fun to play these games. Like, one of the reasons Nostalgia Month has been so fun, not just because we're playing like all the classic good games, but also because those classic good games usually have a lot more to tell. Like I love indie games, don't get me wrong, but I've gotten so used to playing games with like my brain turned off or like just completely like ignoring the story. It's nice to finally be able to pay attention to something. We never should have lived this long. Forever is a very long time. Sometimes, it's better not to be. To burn away completely. Oh. There's no place for me here. Only you. Whoever that is. Oh. I hope you'll be brave this time. I don't think I can. I cannot. You, you cannot help me. Not anymore. Is this our old self talking? Like we can't get our old self back? We gotta move on or something? Like is this just old James talking to new or young James talking to old James? Maybe. Yeah, did he fucking burn himself? Did he crawl into the machine? Is that why it all went wrong? Because James, what? What's going on here? Why'd you crawl in there? 
little buddy. Oh my god, dude. These sh these screens are so cool. This was to be my final work. To reclaim what was lost. To let go of the stolen fire. To reignite the true flame. But now the spark, it is almost gone, it is lost, hopeless, just like you. Is this the, oh god, what the fuck, is this the director? Is that the demon? Yeah, the, it might be a metaphor because the, there's constantly the talk of fire going on. I mean, the ship burned up, right? The ship did. We, we saw the new snippets of the ship. Like, most people died in the fire. So it could very much be related to that. Because, like, obviously, Lily and James were involved in the, uh... Oh, it's the, the floor of the Shining with the tricycle of the Shining. Another little detail. Ah! Are you kidding me? God, not you, please no. Help oh, us, Johnny! What the fuck? <laughs> it's Johnny. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> oh. Hi. <laughs> Captain. Captain. Oh, it's just broken. Wherever I go, it follows. I cannot be free of it. A formless shadow. My shadow. It keeps shifting, changing, and I change with it. Kima, thank you for the seven. Oh no, not the hands, please. What the heck? Oh god. Just... The hands are going crazy. You shot a money shotgun? Can I go this way then? Or I guess this is the side path. He's opened the door. This is the heaviest door of all time. Ah! Ah. Okay. <laughs> Noises and glitches. Me when I play Hello Neighbor. Noises and glitches. I do kind of want to play Hello Neighbor again, to be honest. But, I don't know. Probably not for Nostalgia Month. <laughs> It was very bad. What the fuck? You just gotta keep rotating. I remember spinning it the wrong. Oh, I gotta spin it up to the. I see. Come on. Spin it up to this. Then wait. There. I don't know if this is how they work, but they oh come on! 
Super size. Damn it. I did it. The main reason I still might eventually ma finish my Hello Neighbor video and like upload it is because Hello Neighbor 2 was actually like okay. Hello Neighbor 2 was actually pretty fun. Just the first game was so bad. Like so embarrassing. Empty shell cannot live forever. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the movie references the movie references make sense because we're an actor, right? Yeah, like obviously they, they mess a bit with the like metaphors that are that are going on. Uh but I feel like they're warranted. And they're also just fun, right? <laughs> I ever take pray oh god can only be I haven't taken a vacation since 2020 nor a single day off but streaming is fun It's always there one step behind stretch stretching over me pulling me in I'm shedding skin changing into what That's like my actor's notes probably There's uh, all the movie equipment. We're just going through the same environment again, but now it's... Can I open this door? I can't open that door, but I'm gonna unlock this first because there's gonna be secrets in here. You already know it. Unless. Rat. Sometimes it's better to find your own way, to accept what was lost, to accept the pain, and feed your own fire. Uh huh. Feed your own fire instead of trying to be someone else. I don't know. I just love the visual. I really love the. I don't know, this is cool. Great Hill incident. Yeah, I I was thinking about it. This year, it's surprising because last year was the opposite. Last year, I very thoroughly enjoyed almost every indie game. Like, Mortuary Assistant is incredible. There were a lot of good indie games. This year, it's just like, I mean, I guess Amnesia the Bunker, you could argue is an indie game. But I think this year is the the year of triple a horror devs actually making good content and most indie games this year have sucked honestly like gray hill incident is a great example of it i there's been so many more times this year where i play the game that didn't end up on youtube because it was just so terrible that i had to quit halfway through because i didn't want to like suffer through it anymore and with uh, with triple a games it's been like How the opposite how many lives have you buried just by merely existing. Existing, but never being. Wouldn't it be better if you just went away? The forest was good. I I don't like I know that's in still indie, but I don't I don't accept the title indie. Once you get like a hundred million dollar studio, like can you really call it indie anymore? Like if you just stay indie at that point, like because you don't hire any devs and stuff. That's more a detriment than, like, I would say it's a benefit. Like, I don't consider Sons of the Forest and Amnesia to be indie games. I know that's probably against what the term actually means, means. But for me, indie games means something made by a small team. That's at least what I just have chosen the definition to be. Uh, which is probably not accurate. But for me, it is. Noises and glitches. Hey, Pred, what's up? I'm enjoying the remake. I'm loving it. It's crazy. Like, it's... I mean, I have never played the original Layers of Fear 2, so I can't compare it. But I... I've always heard that Layers of Fear 2 was worse than Layers of Fear 1. And so far, my opinion is, like, basically the opposite. I guess because I've, like... Ex like, you need to play these games for the right reason. You need to not play them for a quick horror flick. You gotta play them for the experience. For the, like cinematic experience and i think the second one just has more cinema cinematism to them than the first one the first like 
the first one had the environments were very similar between all chapters whereas here they're just going a little wild and wacky with it okay we found another one i played the new chillis art game we will tomorrow probably oh that is bodies what the heck Okay, then. Jeff, thank you for the prime. Ah, uh, that's a big skull. A one-headed skull. Uh-huh. Of the dead. Whee. It's just an empty chest. Is it, though? Can I hide in it? Can't. Yeah, I mean, I guess Indy is... Oh, boy. Oh, fuck, man. Freaking the... It's inside now. Never actually played inside. I just... Oh, watched... Watched the playthrough. Hi. Right. I don't know where I'm going, but I think I'm going the right way. Maybe I'm going in circles. you with this I'm speeding through the animation oh my god <laughs> excuse me are you okay what the fuck it's going uh, a little too fast See, this is for this got to be some metaphor for us like we're trying to rebuild ourselves after the trauma or something <clears throat> maybe oh uh there's a hole now and there's a bunch of eyeballs that's the only way is down Whee! i wonder who the demon is maybe the demon is just our older self or like something i don't know who the like deep voice is talking to us Oh boy. All the people who died in the ship incident. But we can't have died on the ship, right? Because we're alive. <laughs> the sound in the deep, it's growing louder. Thump, thump, thump. Something is coming. You can hear it. Arzva, thank you for that 20. Finally, I understand the way out. It's here, in me, me, you. Who are you? What? Him, me, me, him, him, you, How me. How long can a man burn before he turns to ash? Of all the pain it took to bring you here, you don't even know who you are. How many times must a man die before? 
before he can truly live. How many times? Uh, I don't think that makes any sense, sir. <clears throat> Look at it. This is what happens when you fail to take control. The director's room? The different faces you can put up? Is this what is this the metaphor? Putting on all the different faces as an actor? And the mask? Maybe? I'm not sure. Look at it. Uh oh. Twisted formless. Just Try not to. Jesus. So that is. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what he just said, but maybe it'll become clear. Why would I crumble? That seems stupid. The boy that never speaks. Have you found the boy? Is this why they changed? This must be... I wonder if there was like an artistic reason. I, I assumed initially that it was just because they didn't have the budget or something. That all the lines were not voice acted. Is it because the main character in this one is like... It cannot have a voice because it's trying to find its voice or something? Maybe. Maybe that's why all the lines were not voice acted. What am I doing here exactly, by the way? Am I electrocuting myself? It's about to be a night to remember. Uh oh. Hi. That's insanely cursed. This is a, like a classic director's chair, right? Am I doing something here? Oh, I can go behind it. I see. The fuck? What is the tiny... What is this metaphor? This gotta mean something, right? What? What is this? There's a tiny person being strong. Is that James's old self? Holding up their broken, like, new self? Is that what's going on here? And they're being, like, held on a pedestal? Oh, it's an Oscar? T-posing? No, I mean, I guess. But what is this whole fucking mess? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's like him trying to rebuild himself. Shame I won't be there to see it. I've n I don't think I've ever watched the Oscar. The only time I was interested in the Oscar is when Will Smith slapped the other guy in the face. And it was really funny. <laughs> Oh, here we go. You run, but do you know the way? You build one character, you destroy the other. There's no other way. You follow reason, you see through it. You cut away the strings. <clears throat> you hesitate, you look for a better way. Nothing is ever easy. You struggle against the current, fight against all odds. In the end, there is no right or wrong. There is only... James! Lily! James! Listen to me! You have to go! No! I'm not leaving! I'll, I'll find a way to reach you! I know you will! You're strong! Stronger than you know! We'll be together again! No matter how long it takes, I will find you. No. I will. I see. So she did die, obviously.
Feels bad, man. Actor story, chapter five, forever. Okay. This is where we started, remember? This is the very beginning where the fucking demon like lifted up the, up the head or something. This is, the, this is like the ship in sinking mode or something. of its own making. Okay, we have to make the right choices this time. Is that what's going on? So we don't shoot the lady, we shoot this guy. Because <laughs> we shot the lady last time, now we shoot the guy. <clears throat> what? The fuck just happened? Shoot yourself. <laughs> I'm confused. Very confused. But let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this is a tragedy again. We still we have some new pictures, right? That's the What the hell is that even? What the fuck? I don't know. That's the same thing I'm assuming. Yes. Let's see. We can go through the recording thing. We have three out of four of this. Can I look it through this again? We're just back in the hub. Oh, the sun is rising on this faithful day. Okay. Now do we... We don't have another tape, right? Yeah, we can't go up here. We just got to go through the recording thing again, and then we see the ending question mark. I'm confused. Go back to the toilet. No. All right, here we go. Are we burning it? Oh, don't do that. I hate that. Are we burning the whole lighthouse down? Um, <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. See you in hell. Burn the rat. 
the Rat Queen. Hell is closer than you think. Oh! You always believed that words have the power to set free, and you were right. Oh, let's go, go, go. I think you should stay here. No, 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 no. Kick the door. Focus on your writing. Why would you just wait? Is it just go Excuse me? What? What? I'm so confused. What the fuck? Okay, there's there's probably multiple endings. I'm very confused what is happening in the end there. I probably got the bad ending. So in Layers of Fear 1, we got the best ending. What, 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 where was the ending for the actor? I'm confused. I'm gonna quit. Let's quickly do this. What did we do for... Wait, no, that's not what I want to see. Um, what is happening here? Actor story. We didn't even get an ending at all for the actor? What the hell? <laughs> I didn't get an ending because I can't look at it again. What is going on? Because here I got the family ending. How did I not get an ending? How does that work? <laughs> I didn't get an ending at all. Did I not earn it? Is that what's going on? There's three different endings, but I didn't get a single one of them. Do we do we need to make other choices? I felt like the choice the choices in the painter story were way more It's not I, I feel like I did pretty well finding items, so it can't really be that. I it's got to be the the choices. For the painter story, the choices were really clear. It was like choose family or choose um choose art and i chose family every time it gave me the family ending this is something i didn't play this is something i didn't play it's definitely like the one thing i was a little scared of did end up happening what's so important with these games um i'm gonna turn down the audio slightly is that they have a good conclusion because like the whole game was all a story so it's a little bit a bit annoying that i i i'm always a uh, I really don't like games like this. It feels like because I didn't make the right choices, I don't get the chance to have a good payoff there, which is really frustrating because obviously, let's see, what is going on? Like, why didn't we get? So, I mean, it feels just really quick because obviously we did. There was an ending like we did. The writer didn't break free, but how didn't the writer break free? free? Didn't we make? I guess we made the wrong choices in the in the actor story. Like the actor story must have gone real wrong, but I'm so confused why. Because I made I tried make I, I the choices were just so unclear. Like the final choice there by shooting like shooting the guy or the lady. What does that even mean? Like what is the is it like shooting the lady because shooting Lily or something like you need to let go of Lily. Is that the metaphor there? I just don't understand the choice. Um, I kind of I need to see these other endings. So I want to see at least one ending of the actor story. Come on now. What the hell? How could I get no ending? Wait, do I have to like speed run through forever again? Maybe let's quickly do that. I want to get at least one ending. Come on, man. But send me back here. Okay, so here, okay. So we don't do anything? Because I chose this guy and it led to zero ending. Nothing happened. I shot this lady or person in the story because the, the director forced me. Can I just stand here and do nothing? I think I have to make a choice, but why did making a choice lead to no ending? That's what I'm so confused about. Maybe, maybe it was bugged out. Shoot the floor. There's no way to shoot. Is the director trying to help? I just really want to shoot the guy. Try shooting, no, the middle of the shooting. I'm not going to waste the, the whole playthrough. No. Okay, so waiting obviously doesn't do anything. I think we'll just shoot the guy again, see what happens. If nothing happens, we'll just look it up. Let's shoot the guy. Cause that's, I want to just, I think it was bugged out. I want to just see the ending I would have gotten if I, like, if it didn't bug out. 
Maybe it didn't bug, but then we're gonna find out. But let's see. Because I think we're shooting the director, right? We're shooting the director rather than whoever this is. I don't even... No, let's do it. And otherwise, we'll just look it up. It's still going. Oh. Okay. Wait. What? What's going on? It's new? Is this the same? I'm confused. It's the same thing. What's going to happen here then? This sent us to the writer's story, right? What? Is it broken or what now? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that doesn't make any fucking sense. What the hell? Let's look up the endings. I'm... So this is like obviously a huge bummer. Like I think this was like this was like moving towards like eight, nine out of ten. I think this suddenly like drops it down several points for me. Cause like it they obviously let's look it up on YouTube if we can. They obviously had like this whole story laid out, and then they just forgot that some people would not get the perfect ending and were just gonna be like horribly disappointed with the ending they had i don't understand this is ridiculous okay the layer layers of fear let's just look up the endings layers of fear two endings okay let's see this is shirako thank you shirako uh so this is the cutscene that we watched before then what happens here so what wait there's an ending why didn't I get an ending? I'm so confused. He didn't even get to make a choice. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so what happens here? Wait, was this cutscene different as well? Wait, what's going on here? Why is there no subtitles? You can't have it. Because you are not ready. Because you have not earned it. All right, the subtitles don't work. <laughs> Until then. Yeah, so this is the exact same. I guess it was the choices up till then. And then you go through a door and then there's a child. James is sitting here. But I feel like I, I tried defying the director as much as possible. But sometimes it was just so incredibly unclear whether you were following the director's orders or not. Like it was really strange. Like what's the choices past were so... Is past, what's gone is gone. The door is shut and the curtain's drawn. The lands that are no longer there. The dreams we did not get to share. When all we love is stripped away. A boy must leave. A man must stay. And yet, there is still hope, you see. For you are still a part of me. Although the boy has ceased to be... Where there was I, there shall be we. The holy flame, it burns away. It shows us there's another way. Let us be together forever and ever and ever. This is really cool. I wish but I got said, this too. It said it's time to eat. I'm sure you'll find me quite a treat. Okay, you grab, you do something. The director. Okay, so this is probably if you follow the director. Interesting. Okay. So that's like the, the show must go on ending where you do the, is this something else? Is this another ending? This must be another ending or is this the same? This is probably another ending. I think that cut to black. Now it's another ending. This is James. He's looking in the mirror. He's grown up.
Ouais. He looks at all the movie posters. This is still the first ending? Okay. Never mind then. It's zooming in on the chest. <laughs> the box? What's in the box? Okay, okay. Wait, so that was all the first ending. What the fuck? <laughs> What's really in the box? Okay, uh, what? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Uh, yes. All right. Let's move on. N now we play as Lily. What? Lily ending? Looking for answers. For purpose long gone. How is that possible? And on, and on. What, what cruel, cruel part we have to play to live, live on, on one statement away. away. A vast this? Mr. Hardy. Okay, so this is if you go against the director, I see. A vast. What's gone is gone. What's past is past. For there are things that should not be, and there are wounds that time won't heal. When all seems lost, when all is gone, we do not have to carry on. To put, to put away, away what, what sadness, sadness wrought. Steady your aim and take your shot. Ah! Uh. Shot himself? Just as I thought. A mother long gone. A sister's last breath. A life for a life. A death for a death. The flame that burns the lies away. The truth revealed. Let come what may. What? Holy Lay shit. Your head down, brother. Go to sleep. This vow is no longer yours to keep. <laughs> Someone <laughs> coughing him. Okay. So it's still a show on the ship, I'm assuming. And then we look in the mirror and it's Lily. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so it was up to interpretation who the main character was. Uh-huh. Okay. So Lily. Very interesting. How did I get neither of these endings, though? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, she look, and then all the movie posters. Did I not collect enough movie posters? Because now all the posters are about her. We just got a black screen. I just got nothing. <laughs> like nothing happened. <laughs> Okay, and then the chest. Uh, what does what the chest mean? This is so cool, though. This is really cool. Either of these endings would have been awesome. I'm really curious what the true ending is, though. Wait, there's no true ending. Wait, what? Good, bad, true? You lied to me! Wait, there's three end- What well, are the three endings? There's only two endings in here! You just fucking lied! <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, excuse me? What are the three endings then? Wait, what? Wait, this is one ending. And this is two endings. Wait, what is the third ending? I'm confused. Did I get clickbaited? Oh, okay. So the formless ending is what I got. Formless is just fade to black, you get nothing. 
Okay, that is extreme. That is stupid. <laughs> okay, we figured it out. All right. So the formless ending isn't an ending. It's just nothing. Wow. Okay, so it wasn't bugged. I just got the formless ending, but I, it was extremely unclear because I didn't even get an achievement for it. Uh, yeah, why wasn't it unlocked though? I don't understand. Maybe? It's, for, it's not unlocked. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm just going to go off of the two endings that are like... So this is probably... I see. So... So to wrap it all up, always ending is when you, f I think I, one of these is when you only follow the director and one of these is when you go against the director every time. If you go with the director, you become James, which is like the base, the normal ending, I, I assume. And then if you go against James or against the director, you become Lily. And then if you do like a little bit of both, which is what I should have gotten, but it is not unlocked for some reason. Um, there is the formless ending, which is where you basically like are somewhere in between um, in between Lily and James and it's not clear who. I really think, so I think they fell flat with that. I think review time, game impeccably looks incredible. Absolutely wonderful graphics. Uh, I really like the uh, chapter, like visually interesting chapters near the end where everything was just crazy. I especially like the chapter where you played as the child and everything was super cool. Um, with like the space section that was so strong. And then the, uh, I, honestly, the last three chapters were really good. I just, the endings are baffling to me. I do not understand how this went wrong in... I guess it's just one of those cases where the developers are like, we know this is going to get us a lot of shit, but it's for art, so we're going to just do it, even though for gameplay purposes, it makes for a worse game. But for their artistic merit, they needed to do it this way, where one of the endings just leads you to nothing. I really, th I really feel robbed, like, in the ending there. Like, that's stupid as hell. Because... I tried from the very beginning to go against the director. However, when I shot the guy instead of the girl, the, 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 there was like a very clear moment where it was like, no, you can't do that. Shoot the other person. And my stupid brain, I guess, just was like, okay, I guess there is no choice. I guess I've played too many games where the choices are so fake that you just don't have a choice. And they're just like, I didn't want to sit there and like, like break the fourth wall and keep shooting the guy because I assumed it was going to lead to nothing. So I just shoot the the hat, the like the flower hat person instead. But I should have just assumed because this game is so artistic that there was going to be something if you kept going that way. So yeah, I just don't really understand because that's the only choice I think I made. Like, I guess I also did the, the ending on the like gangplank where Lily was supposed to be shot off the gangplank and I shot the guys instead. So I guess I made two choices against the director or two choices with the director and the other choices against the director and that led me to formless and you should have played perfect either like perfectly against the director or perfectly with the director. Okay, so ending fell completely flat. Definitely think in terms of a game, this makes it like way worse. Like this was a terrible choice in order to make a good game, but I guess they're not trying to really make a game necessarily. They're more trying to make a piece of art. Like this is a piece of art. It's not meant to, like, that's why it's called Layers of Fear and everything is like it's the first, because the first game felt way more normal. Like this felt like a normal game where I got to the ending and it was, I still think it might've been bugged because why didn't I unlock the formless ending? If, because here I obviously unlocked the family en family ending, here I unlocked nothing. So I don't understand. This might just be a bug with the, with the remake though, that this is supposed to unlock. But I guess because the formless ending is literally just fade to black, there's nothing to show you here. So clicking on it doesn't mean a thing. But anyway, that was, uh... Layers of Fear. I really enjoyed it still. I think this is one of those cases where you just got to take a step back and like, don't let your inner Redditor, your inner Steam reviewer take the upper hand and go like, yeah, I hate that ending. I want to leave a bad Steam review. No, you got to like, ex like expect or accept that you went through a cool experience. And I know obviously I could replay it to do all the perfect choices. I just really wish they would have made the choices clear. I think that's my main complaint. If they just made the choices clearer, I, I would have been more okay with it, but it was really unclear. 
like it would be like a 50 50 choice if you made the choice against the director you would have to make the choice like several times in order to let it go through which is what happened later but if you made the choice with the director it would immediately go through so you didn't have a chance to like revise your your answer it was just like oh well i guess i went with the director now i get the formless ending like if you made a single mistake you led to the black screen ending that's really stupid they really should have changed that so yeah um i i definitely think it's like close to a masterpiece if they just ma managed to make those endings like just more fun for the player like i get it you're an artsy game developer and i love you for it because it was a really fun experience uh up until the end but the ending fell completely flat both ways both the ending of the actor fell completely flat as well as the ending of the main story because remember we were still playing the main story where we walked we we burned the muse and then we just got locked in the building and we were just like well guess we're dying now guess we're like not gonna try and break through a window guess we're just gonna sit here and just burn to death over the next three hours that this, i guess fire spreads pretty fast so I, I, in the next 15 minutes we're just gonna sit here and just burn because we don't want to leave it doesn't make any sense like that's such an unsatisfying ending as well obviously i probably made bad choices in the i i'm assuming i because i didn't do the dlc or something so yeah I don't know. Overall, uh, I would say like a seven, seven to eight out of 10. Uh, I would have given this an easy nine if they fixed the endings. Like that's, that's my review. So yeah, let me know what you thought. I hope it was fun to watch. I definitely had a great time overall. Uh, let me know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, I love the gamers here in chat. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash Instagram. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.